God, I don't know if it's YouTube or if it's Streamlabs or OBS, but like almost always something has to be wrong with chat. Um, it's kind of a miracle that I found uh, the thing that I found that actually had emojis work. And now it's not working for some reason. I, I don't know what's wrong. Maybe we just need to give it time. Uh, uh, give me a minute. Okay, oh my god, I just realized I didn't set up the cam <laughs> yet, wait. Uh, chat, will you, will you forgive me for being a little late? Hold on, hold on. Holy shit, it's been 11 minutes already? Okay, hold on. Sorry, chat. I'm sorry. I went to make coffee. Okay, I went to make coffee. Uh, try to fix chat, but chat doesn't want to work. Someone in chat once said the Yakuza 7 is for cucks, and it is true. So, does that mean Yakuza 1 is also for cucks, considering, well, you know. Damn, I can't believe the very roots and origins of the series are, uh... Put a one in the chat if you love Yakuza 3. Let's see it. Let's see all the Yakuza 3 love. I know you guys have been enjoying the Tamiya emote, but uh, let's see those ones. A two? Is that a two I see? Oh, no. Chat, I didn't raise you to be like this. <laughs> a three. A seven. Wow. Wow, how could you not look at this and be like, holy shit, best game in the franchise. Oh, look who, he's here. <laughs> Look at all these 10 out of 10 characters.
People say Mina is horrible for slapping Haruka, but actually Haruka slapped first. So she should go to jail for assault. I agree. I agree. Most based Yakuza take right there. Yo, Isaac. Yo, Mohammed. Welcome. All right, fellas. The Yakuza. Uh. The, the marathon week, Yakuza 3 and 4 in one day. Let's do this. Okay. Let's go with hard. Mm -hmm. Hey, Leon. Still going strong in No Nut November? People actually obey by that? <laughs> I don't make a million saves. I'll try, but I mean, it's Yakuza 3. Oh, right in the fucking beginning, they want to get me. Do the orphan sections get harder in Legend 2? Yes. Yes, they do. They have more demands. Oh, Kaoru, my favorite character in the whole franchise. I can't wait to see more of her in this game. Nah. <laughs> Kazuna. God, no, not November is so stupid. If we have a month called No Dick December, is everyone gonna chop their dicks off? <laughs> well, are we? Look at all the liars in chat. <laughs> Dallas, four days until Gaiden. Technically almost three days. In half an hour, it's gonna be the 5th of November for me. The 5th! That's a day closer to Gaiden. Yo, Mohammed. Yeah, it was awesome. I'm still wondering why it tells me that uh, Gaiden is coming out on the 8th for me, because if I was in the US, maybe then like that would be normal, but I'm ahead of the US, so I don't know how that's going to work. Leon, did you summon for Joe Ammon in Yakuza Online? No. So is it gonna be like... what? If it's gonna be the 9th for Japan, is it gonna be like... 6pm for me on the, on the 8th? If so, then... <laughs> I'm not complaining. That is kind of poggers, not gonna lie. <laughs> the fucking eagles. Uh, never change, chat. Yo, human. Man, yesterday was kind of wild, right? Yakuza 2 looked a little different from the way I remembered. But then again, it's been a while since I played it, so... You know... it's It could be one of those things. Yeah, that's fine, Pearl. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm teasing a banger mod for Yakuza 4. The Yakuza 4 silly mod. A guy allegedly asked Steam support when Gaiden is coming out and they said... Wait, what is CET timing again? Canadian Eastern? I don't fucking know. So, who who are y'all maining in the Coliseum? Any fellow Akimo? Oh no. Do we even oh. know if Akimo is gonna be in there? Oh god. I mean, the, the arena is gonna be a very easy way for them to bring back anyone they want. So, maybe he's gonna be there. Never know. He is gonna be in there. Oh shit. God damn it. Well, I hope Jurong Akimoto is stronger than <clears throat> normal Akimoto. Played the Resident Evil games, God. Daigo with gun. Man, I'm kind of. Uh, someone on Twitter said that they didn't show anything about Daigo gameplay yet. Uh, maybe that's something you want to keep for you know the actual release. I don't know, but. It is kind of curious. Like, they've shown so much already. You'd think the DLC would be shown as well. Like, all of it. Maybe he really does just have a gun and that's why they don't want to show it. Like, you just shoot, 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 and that's it. Oh, I see. I hate how sensitive the <clears throat> movement is on PC with the controller. I don't know if you can fix it. You guys might have saw, like seen me just go like right now, kind of. Mm -hmm. It's uh, we're only doing the uh, story. Wait, if this is a marathon, where's Kenzon? This is a mainline marathon, so no Kenzon. Kenzon sucks anyway, Yakuza 3 is where it's at. Right, gamers? <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding, I swear. You know what else sucks? Yakuza 7. Fuck that game. How could they just do that, you know? Like, how, like, how could they change? How many have actually played Kenzon? I don't know about chat, but I did play it. <laughs> Leon, are you sick? Your voice sounds different? No. That's weird. I'm streaming like three to four hours after I woke up, which is the same as yesterday and the day before, I think. I don't know what's up. People who played Kenzon, what do you think of Kenzon? Let's talk about Kenzon. <laughs> Yo, Kelty. Clearly, you hate Yakuza 3 since you sound so <laughs> unenthusiastic. Well,. Memorize how I sound right now. I'm gonna sound ten times worse tomorrow.
You do have a family, isn't it? This isn't a joke, but for me personally, that Souls over Kenzan and Ishin. I don't care about samurai stuff. It's the same for me, really. And that's not me saying, oh, like, how could anyone like samurai stuff? That stuff sucks. It's just a preference. <laughs> yeah, that is me tomorrow. I am actually scared of tomorrow, like... The last time I played it, what I tried to beat it in one stream, I think that was New Game Plus. And even then, like, it took nine hours and a half. But maybe I wasn't skipping everything, I don't know, we'll see. Yakuza fans fighting over which game sucks the most. Yakuza fans fighting over literally anything, honestly. Yakuza fans fighting over why... We still need cure you after 10 games. Yeah, because of fans fighting over uh, 24 gigs of hostess club videos. Uh, yeah, because of fans fighting over why, like, why the series is now getting westernized. Yakuza fans fighting over which premium adventure outfit is the best. Uh, you can play Toroyo, go for it. I like the first one more than the second one. The second one feels like hell to navigate. Mainly because... I say this all the time about Koryo too, but the encounters are tougher than boss fights. You're looking at 10 minute plus um, random encounters. By the way, I'm talking about max stats, so uh, if you're not max, then uh, then again, it also depends on the difficulty you're playing. Wait, you can't counter this grab, bruh. Okay, maybe I should have picked normal. Not because this is tough, but like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this is on hard. There we go. He's finally taking the bait. Random encounters are tougher than boss fights. Sounds like a skill issue to me. Man. I have never, 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 never see, seen a game where a sweet encounter, one sweet encounter takes 10 minutes, hey. and then a boss takes two minutes to beat. Who is the real boss here? Are you going to hit 90k subs in the stream? That depends on people in the chat who still haven't hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and also the, the like button. Okay, I, you know, we, we were talking about subs, I had to do it. All oh, right, we have to go here this time. What's the button for feel the heat on keyboard? First Richardson fight made me question live. Which difficulty did you play on at first, Pearl? Yo, yo, yes, we were talking about Black Panther 2. 
By the way, is the game audio okay, or should I reduce the volume? Is it loud? E. Okay, I might do that then. Is there any other move other than the grab that can go through enemy defense in this game? It can do a couple of stuff. If you have the Kamaki moves, I said this yesterday, I think. You can um, try to tiger drop or do the parry and then go behind them, combo a little bit. But, like... You know what's the thing about like the Kamaki counters as well? People sometimes will just say, oh, use the Kamaki counters. But then... They forget that when they watch like the ultra fucking no damage, no controller, no breathing, no oxygen videos. They forget that those videos can sometimes take 20 times to actually get right. So in a lot of those 20 tries, you will get times where um, the enemy doesn't attack you for like 10 seconds. And you're like, hey, bitch, bitch face, do something. Or something goes wrong. So, yeah, the Kamaki counters are nice. They're, they're an option. But they can be annoying to do sometimes as well. Um, other than grabbing in the Kamaki counters, you can try to dodge behind them and combo them from there. But that doesn't always work, unfortunately. And something else that I also suggested, you can do this thing where you put distance between you and the uh, enemy. And he tried to whiff attacks. And then the heavy attack would hit the enemy. Not even gamer subs. <sighs> Just use stun guns. Can't enemies block stun guns in this game? I thought they could. Which is hilarious. Maybe bosses can, I'm not sure. Do you think Kiryu was a good father figure in this game? Yeah. This is probably like the best father figure of Kiryu game. Uh, the blocking issues related to the unlocked frame rate. I'm sure there's issues related to the frame rate, but I don't know if blocking is one of them. It might be. But I played through the original Yakuza 3 some time ago. And we still had pretty much Yakuza 3 gameplay, is the best way to put it. Uh. He kind of sucked in 6. He set an example to run away, and Haruka followed suit. Kiryu has been running away since game 1. Ran away from the fate of actually accepting Nishiki to get arrested. And then ran away from the fucking responsibility of the Teoja clan. I mean, you know, I'm not saying I don't understand some of his reasonings for stuff, but... There needs to be a study to find out what everyone's favorite orphan is. Or who everyone's favorite orphan is. I feel like Taich is just gonna win by a landslide. It's no contest even. Golf time, baby, golf time. You're pretty good. Oh, no, okay, listen, I forgot how to play for a second. Fuck, okay, I don't get a repeat. Can I just... Okay.
Yeah, Koji's pretty chill. <laughs> uh, Mitsu's also a good kid. <laughs> Bogey. Mm. Nice balls, thank you. I wash them every morning. Hmm. Hmm. Oh sh! Oh my god! I didn't, <laughs> I didn't mean for it to go that far. God damn it! Hmm. Oh sheesh! It's either like too far or too close. There's no in between. Hmm. Yeah, Shiro is a crypto, bro. Hmm. Mm. Double bogey, holy shit. My dad lived in Okinawa for a bit. He really liked Pachinko. Did he play any of Konami's Pachinko machines? I've been grinding this to get to M1. I hate it. Welcome to the club. Chat, which Yakuza game has the most tedious requirements for M1? Hmm. I would say, I mean, if we want to count that game, Lost Paradise, 100%. Holy shit, that game. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh yeah, oh god, the <laughs> the PS2 uh, games. Yeah, those were pretty bad too. Dude, are you kidding me? The PS2 games, man. That's a horror game. After Silent Hill Ascension, I feel for a remake of 2 and Metal Gear 3. Why? It's a good game. I think I told you guys, but I recorded the rant on Silent Hill Ascension, but I still didn't upload it. I tried to edit a little bit before the stream, but you know. I need more time. Silent Hill Ascension. Shape the cannon of Silent Hill. It's trauma. It's trauma. <sighs> Is it true the streams had the director complain about how people were hating on it? I'm I only watched the first ever like episode stream and like the pre-show a little bit. Uh that's about it. I didn't like I watched episode 2 and 3 from a streamer that I watch. But, um... Yeah, I'm not sure about the director. I just know that this, the streamer that I watch and the CEO or the director of that game went at it on Twitter <laughs> talking about, like, you know, why the game just is not good. Like, man... I want to... I want to assume the best about their intentions, but but it's also like, how do you assume the best intentions with a game like that? Game. Have you purchased Gaiden? Not yet, actually. Huh? I'm probably gonna wait until the last day. Mm. Hey Leon, when that side human scene shows up, can you put a, an, Im an image of Floppa? We can do something better, just skip it, as we're skipping everything. I feel like someone asks you every day if you bought it. Yeah, I mean... I understand. Oh? 
Still insane to me they made a Scientol game with a battle pass. No, no, let, let's not sugarcoat it. They made a Silent Hill TV show with a battle pass. That's how it is. And it's as ridiculous as it sounds. <laughs> like... Uh, the streamer that I was talking about, and then... Um, the uh, CEO, or director of Ascension. Uh, we're both talking about, you know, the, the monetization and all that. I think, what, like, one of the few things the director tried to say, like, oh, you know, people can still watch the show for free, and it's like, okay. This is something I talked about as well. Ah. Even assuming the battle pass is not there, the monetization is not there. Like, it's just, I don't know, something they air for, like, six months, which is fucking ridiculous, by the way. Or if they release it as, like, a, a movie on Steam or console, and you can buy it and watch. The story sucks ass. It's so bad, like... It's horrible. It's horrible. The Fortnite. Wait, did I say Fortnite? <laughs> Fortnite season OG. No, I didn't try that, but I heard about it. Now they need to bring Kiryu in Fortnite, and then I'll play that. Yo, Leon, what's your opinion on the fact that Hostess videos are bigger than the Lad 8 demo? I'm very sad. I'm very sad. I think if that was like an in-game thing, like, you know, you visit the club or whatever, that would have been like... Maybe 15 gigs less, or if not more. It's insane. Yeah, that could be a decent idea, Lexi, but again, it's just like... <sighs> so, this is something that I mentioned in the rant, I might as well say it now. Silent Hill Ascension feels like... Like a family drama show, but with Silent Hill monsters every now and then. And it's like, what the fuck does this have to do with that? Like... Uh, do they live in Silent Hill? Is Silent Hill, again, like a m mental purgatory? Like, what's going on? You know? And I also mentioned this in the rant, which I talked about before the... Before I even recorded the rant video. Please, let's let go of the psychological Silent Hill aspect. Let's go back to the simple old crazy cult. Like, I don't know, kidnapping people, t turning them into monsters or something like that. I don't need to see the fucking nurse for like the tenth time and have them tell me Oh, oh like repressed sexual desires for the tenth time oh, or like Oh Pyramid head guilt get it? Um Oh the the true story is that your the character you're playing as actually committed a very grave sin and like murdered someone or like it just gets old so fucking quick. Leon, you're upsetting Silent Hill 2 fans. <laughs> I love Silent Hill 2, that's the thing. But I feel like that game gets a little more credit than it deserves. Silent Hill 3 is balanced between Light Psych and... Yeah, Silent Hill 1 and 3 in general, I think, in my opinion. Are the perfect Silent Hill games. Probably one especially. In terms of like, you know, what they're doing with the idea of Silent Hill. Hey, when does the game start? Hey, what are you... Excuse me, what are you implying? Does this not look like a game to you? Well, if you don't like this, you better be ready for tomorrow. <laughs> what is your opinion? What about Silent Hill 4? Unfortunately, dog shit game. Not because of the story, because of the gameplay. The story is very interesting, like... One of the very few cases where the character you're playing as is like... Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> you know? Just an average every guy. But then, the actual... 
the, the story is about, you know, the villain, Walter. Um, but then, yeah, the gameplay just... I don't know why they changed so much about it in a way that isn't convenient at all. And, like, not just inconvenient, it's just annoying. Walter. <laughs> uh. What about Downpour? I didn't play Downpour. But from what I heard, it's not as bad as people used to say it is. But then again, that's the nature of people, right? Oh, five years later, oh, the, the forgotten masterpiece of Silent Hill, or whatever. It happens every single time. Fuck, it happens with the Akaza. Like, take the English dub of Yakuza 1, for example. You think people loved that back in the day? They didn't. They hated it. But over time, they just look back at it like, ah, oh, haha, you know, goofy ass English voice acting. Same for Dead Souls. Uh, the worst thing the Silent Hill 4 Protag did was renting the wrong apartment. Yeah. Something else I also talked about with Silent Hill. I think one of the things people give shit for with Homecoming is uh, the horrible PC port. But the original Silent Hill 2 and 3 also had horrible PC ports, so why don't those games get shit? I mean, yeah, Yakuza 1 and 2, well, 1 especially, was pretty much just advertised as Japanese GTA. Uh-oh. Right here! Hot take, Yakuza 1 English dub is not that bad. It's funny. <laughs> Matsunaga, oh shit. Hey Yuya, but man, I appreciate the development you got. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Your malice, baby. We're gonna hear more of that soon. Wow, he can knock down the big ones? Damn, Rikia. I think Kiryu can do that with bounding throws only. Maybe... yeah, probably just bounding throws. I can't wait for pink dinosaur emoji. Yeah, because the 3 has the best soundtrack in the series, Leon. Change my mind. Why should I? Enjoy that Yakuza 3 soundtrack, King. What are you drinking? Uh, good old coffee. Please. You guys want to hear a crazy story? My fucking 25-year-old grown-ass brother got groped today. Uh, pretty wild shit. <laughs> no, no, not robbed, groped, you know, touched. Yeah, by another guy. <laughs> and they say men can't be sexually assaulted. So, so this. Uh, I don't think he's getting the law involved now. But, um... 
when that happened, he told me he just fucking like pushed the guy away. And like a bystander, a local guy, was asking like if everything was okay. And yeah, everything is okay. But my brother is the kind of guy who, um... It'll take him a while to forget about stuff like that, so I don't know what he's gonna do. Yeah, thank you for the concern, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean... I don't know why I'm fighting these guys, I don't have to. <laughs> Kill you dies, the end. I have a similar story, you wanna hear it? It's okay, you don't have to say it. I'm sure we all have, well, maybe not all of us, but I'm sure a lot of us have story, stories like that. Um, I certainly do. But um, maybe we should save that for another day. Another day, fellas, another day. We gather around, sit in a circle, and talk about stories. Next to a bond. دارك لما كان أخوك كان كسر كتير من تحرش الله ما أدومك شو تسوي بعد؟ so in Yakuza 9 Ricky is alive living in USA. أنا والد كان يسألني لو في واحد يارك يعني سوى لك شيء شو تسوي له؟ جت بعطي كف نفس الوقت يعني أتوقع كف يعني وايد حركة طيبة. ليان have you ever smelled things in dreams? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. Have you? Boy, I love doing one move. Guys, I think they are because the three haters were right. I think they were right. <laughs> nah, I skill issue. Got him. What's the best Yakuza startup song? I'm assuming. Oh, before the title screen. Hmm. I don't know. I love the one in Death Souls, and I'm not just saying that because Death Souls. It really is good. We're talking about the start menu music, by the way, not intros. I'm sure that's what the poster meant. Oh, oh shit. I actually almost missed that. Yeah. <laughs> 
I didn't play this game because of the gameplay, but I saw the story on YouTube. Sorry for my bad English. Hey, it's fine. Actually, it's not fine. Play this game, goddammit! <laughs> play it! See what people love about it. What is your favorite thing about Yakuza 3? Yakuza 3 fans. Leon, in hindsight, of Guy in Infinite Wealth, do you think 6 was a good conclusion for Kiryu? You know what's the funny thing about that? We could have had a good conclusion, not necessarily with 6. 5 also could have been one way to just end the story, even if it's a cliffhanger, but it's a good one. 4 was a perfect way to like just leave Kiryu. The end of 3 was a good way to leave Kiryu. The end of 2... You could argue was also a good way to leave here. The fucking end of one was the same way, like every single game. Every single fucking game is like, oh, you know, Kiryu moves on, or like, it ends on a very, like, conclusive note. <laughs> yeah, pretty much every game was meant to be the last game for Kiryu. At least it feels that way. Like, Yakuza 1 ends on a note where, god, this queen- this shot looks so good. Yakuza 1 ends in a way where it's like, oh, I'm moving out of town, Date, see ya. Yakuza 2 ends on a note where, th basically the same thing. Alright, I'm gonna go live with Haruka again. Yakuza 3, Kiri gets stabbed. You think he might die, and that's the end of it, but he comes back, oh. back to the orphanage. And lives happily ever after, or so you think. Um, four, for once, he's not the main focus. Um, you see the story of three different characters. And then he's there to, like, you know, kind of help them out a little bit. And then after that, well, like, that that's the story. He just helps some people out. And he just goes back to living, like, the way he used to. But then five was like, um, how about we introduce you to this character called Park? <laughs> So he goes back to, well, you know, everything. Does the six month developing time for Gaiden worry you? Not really. Like, if, if anything, I'm just like, oh, how many assets are they going to reuse, you know? But I think it's still going to be a solid game. I hope. I mean, if it has, like, replay-friendly stuff, then I'm good. Because we talked about this last stream. Um, <clears throat> a lot of Yakuza games, and this is nothing new. A lot of Yakuza games ever since, like, the very first ones. Um, like, the release window between, um, the games is very, very, very short. And those are full games, not just, you know, Gaiden, which Gaiden is a, a side game. One and two original had a year between them. Uh, two and Kenzan had a year and, like, a couple months. Kenzan and three had, like, less than a year, 11 months. Um, and yeah. I miss that hat guy. Same. Goofy ass. Uh, <laughs> Do you have high hopes for Gaiden? Um, it's it's hard to answer that clearly. I, like I don't know how to say it. I don't expect too much out of it, but I also expect it to. Well, to do its job until eight, if that makes sense. Dog. Doge. Yo, Mr. Purple, how are you doing?
Don't expect too much, but also expect too much. <laughs> If they added Kiryu to Dead by Daylight... Look, I, I love Dead by Daylight and Kiryu, but... Uh, well... I think he would have just... Man... Tiger Drop, the perk. On command to stun the killer for fucking... 20 seconds. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, dog food. Hey, maybe they could bring him in Dead by Daylight. <coughs> After all, the Yakuza Dead Souls exists. <laughs> so just bring a Yakuza <laughs> Dead Souls <laughs> chapter. Oh, really silent? I'll try that. If this doesn't work... Mods? Get the ban hammer ready. Yeah, tomorrow is Yakuza 5 all day long. And I know what you're thinking. I'm so excited for that, Leon. Can't wait. I know, me too. I'm just gonna do what I usually do and, you know, dog food and then get the thing from uh, Koji. Do you think Yakuza 8 will have the two chapter system with. Maybe. It's possible. What's your favorite gadget from Gaiden? Probably the wires. Like the fact that you can just grab something from afar, like a, a sign, and use it. Peak. I wonder if he can grab bikes with it too. Man, I love the faster loading times with the remastered games. Though I think Fruit mentioned something about slower loading, if there's something specific, and I don't remember what it was. Mm, is Garden really gonna be that short? Well, they said expect like a Kaito Files length, so... Mm, wait a minute. Maybe this is the Mahjong skip. Let's see. It is. I feel like Gaiden will have huge enemy de density. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, just look at the combat. Like, the, the way you can move around so quickly, and like the hits have so much impact, it looks very fun. Seems like both Yakuza and Agent will be viable for crowds, and I like that. I like it. We don't know if Premium Adventure is going to be in Gaiden, but it better be. I saw some concerns that uh, Gaiden is going to be a Ground Zero, Ground Zeroes, whatever it's called, for Metal Gear. But, I don't know. I feel like we already got, we already got that warning before, you know? The, the only problem, probably, is the price, if anything. Mm. Can anyone explain who Kason is? Um, uh, someone who used to be a v VTuber. Now she's just a YouTuber. <laughs> You're gonna regret this. Let's get that America drip. 
I think my controller is actually starting to drift. God damn it. Random encounter right next to me. Sweet. Is it pronounced? Yeah, it's uh, Jaden. <laughs> Anybody excited for Jaden? Will you 100% guide him? No. Uh, sorry, Jaden. No, no. I never 100%. The only time I did that was with Zero. And that was years ago. <laughs> never again. Can't wait to spend a full day downloading Jaden. Same. Ah. Man, I really hope there's preloading. Pre please. Please! Ah. Got jump scared hearing my name being said. On st oh, oh, <laughs> Jaden. <laughs> yeah, we're on to you, buddy. Say your prayers and hide. One hundred percent in games is never worth it to me. Same. It's like, like I can never look at achievements the same way again. It's like you're, like sweating your ass off to get an NFT. What's the point? You know. <laughs> wow, I have a PNG uh, on my profile. No offense to anybody. No offense. That's that's just me. Yeah, just take a screenshot of the achievement and put it on the profile. Boom! You have the you have the achievement now. Actually. I only platinum zero because I was like, you know what? Let me try it. And I don't think I uh I don't think it was worth it. Yeah, Christopher, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough, guys. Uh, uh. Um, fair enough. Stand for your beliefs. Don't let a random guy on YouTube tell you uh, you shouldn't do anything. Just do it. Follow your dreams, as we're gonna find out in the next game. Uh, not next. Sorry, next stream, not next game. I wasn't, you know, I I think I was too into whatever I was saying. I, f I forgot that I was uh, skipping. But I mean, who wants to see that? Horrible shit, right? Horrible shit. <clears throat> Unless you guys like racism. You guys don't, right? Racing cars too. Oh, ah. Does hating blue people count as racism? What Smurfs? <laughs> Wait, is it 
Is it pronounced Gyat or Jat? <laughs> yeah, I think it's the latter. <laughs> Leon, have you ever played the Lollipop Chainsaw? No, never actually. But I know that uh, Fruit Speed runs the game. They're remaking that game, right? Uh, or I think they said they changed plans from remaking to remastering, something like that. I don't even know. Next summer. They didn't show anything about it, did they? Speaking of not showing anything about something, when are we gonna see Silent Hill 2 remake news? When? When? God damn it! I can't. God, I can't wait for that Silent Hill 2 remake battle pass. Um, every time you use the pillow, uh, you level up, and you get different skins for the pillow too. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I want to see that preload button too. What country are you from? Bahrain. Is it true they're gonna add an option that makes you do auto combos and Jaden? Yeah. Should we? How about we make the first playthrough that the automatic difficulty? Like we just sit back and watch. The true Silent Hill Ascension experience. view is the best. I might go with prototype, though the subtype is also really good. And the hyperactive is also really good, really good stuff. <laughs> Receive. Use. Oh yeah, Reborn is also really good. <laughs> Maybe the true Silent Hill Ascension are the friends we made along the chat. Oosh. Maybe. Any friends in chat? <laughs> Guys, Yakuza 4 has a track called Receive You and Bite You. Why does... Wh why does he bite? Is he stupid? Oh wait, he's the mad dog. Revelation. So wait, am I supposed to go back to... <clears throat> Have you watched Invincible? I don't think so. Are you talking about the Invincibles or whatever it's called, the cartoon? <laughs> Dogs can't receive, though. Hmm. What if you throw a frisbee at them? That's what it's called, right? They do receive it. Bye bye. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> the Incredibles. My bad. Hey, what's the difference? Invincibles, Incredibles. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. If, I, I don't think I know what Invincibles or whatever it, it is. But I think I did watch The Incredibles, the first one. I don't even remember it, though. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh, that one. Right, it's gonna show up in Mortal Kombat, right? Yeah, I didn't watch that one. But uh, I know it became a huge meme and people love it. Oh, shit. They fucking blend in. They blend in. Trying to get my friends to play Yakuza is like trying to avoid an infidelic. <laughs> I wonder if the lyrics to As a Man, As a Brother even exist. Do you actually want the lyrics? We, we, we actually read them yesterday. And they were epic. Chat loved it. Chat agreed it's the best written uh, song in all of Yakuza. Should we read them again? I think so, Dragon, yeah. <laughs> Wait, do we have an encounter? I'm not sure. Oh, shit, that's an encounter. I think I tried Hefe, but it doesn't work well. I'm not sure. Anyway, hold on. Ladies and gents. Have you heard of a song called As a Man, As a Brother? Well, if you never did, it's a Yakuza 2 original song. And I gotta say, the lyrics are kind of touching. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what they have. When the boys enter the skeleton dome, it has mistelling this world is gone. In my basement falling land, it's so much better to survive now. Disarray for smile, disable fail safe. <laughs> when I so take my hand, whether so hurt to mess, it's always to... That's the part, you know that one part of the song? It's always Toby, whatever that means. Always Toby. Uh, I gotta gotta love Yakuza, right? <laughs> so yeah, I just remember the next time you hear that song, that's what he's saying. It's always Toby. It doesn't even sound like that. I don't know how he says it. Wait, it's always. Uh, I, I, never mind. Hold on, hold on. Let's uh, yeah. Let me actually put it a little bit so you guys listen to it. It's always. Yakuza to as a man. No! Fucking ad. <laughs> okay. Another ad. The skeleton dome! I don't know. I, I sometimes I feel like the lyrics are written wrong, because it says one contributor, but these lyrics also sound familiar. I feel like I saw them before. I I don't know. I don't know. It's like the one interpretation for for faith that I saw a while ago, where I think someone said <clears throat> the line "can of soup" is in for faith, but it's not. But that person might have been joking. I'm not sure. 
Uh, it's the intro song, the Yakuza 2. Holy. <laughs> Do you miss install menus? Oh, hell yes. I, I love them. But yeah, as long as it sounds good, it's all good, right? Skeleton Dome. Ryukyu humming, hell yeah. Why do I have contact lenses? Please play for faith at the end of four. We can do that. Did you just do a Kamaki parry? Oh my god, obnoxious. I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. Hi. The oh. man, the myth. Yes. Oh. Ha ha ha. Yes. Mm. How do you never get bored of replaying Yakuza? I play other stuff in between. Um, actually, wait, 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 wait. Uh, maybe... <laughs> uh, I mean this in the best way possible. Maybe you're new here, but... All of October, I've been playing anything but Yakuza. Hmm? On the channel, by the way. And then, of course, off the channel, I also play non-Yakuza stuff. Eugene Sama! You play things other than Yakuza and Ban Ban? Believe it, yeah. <laughs> uh, we need to play Ban Ban 5. Or maybe not. No Yakuza November 1. We need a No Yakuza 2024. Oh, yes, you heard right. <laughs> God. Behave or get banned, banned. The voice acting for that game is so good. Yakuza 7 is two dumb people when I show them this scene. <laughs> yeah. Or the fucking, you know, Bye. the panties guy is even more bonkers than this. Is there any good translation of Kenzon? I think someone, um, KH at subs, translated all of the thing on YouTube so you can go watch that. But the game itself, I don't think so. I know people are working on that, but I think that stopped or maybe it's still in development, I don't know. Will you replay 7 with a brawler mod? I don't know, it depends. If there's like a major update or something. You know what I will play 100% though? More randomizers. Uh, I had the video in my recommended, but I didn't watch it. And yeah, the, the Mine and Kiwami thing, mm -hmm. I heard a lot about. I mentioned it in the Icebreak too. Wait, why did I come back here? Am I stupid? Oh, wait. <laughs> nice airplane, Ethan. Oh. Can we have a duck emoji? <laughs> In memory of this cutscene. <laughs> PC specs. Um, RTX 3060. Uh, Ryzen 3700X. And 32 gigs of RAM. I wanted to upgrade, but I might wait for a sale. 
I need to recreate the Hamazaki thing, but with the webcam instead. Many guys just awkwardly <laughs> look at me like, is this guy okay? <laughs> yeah. And then new people coming in like, what the hell did I just walk into? Da -da -da -da. Wait for the 50 and cop the 40s. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Gotta just, it feels so horrible. Like every fucking year, there's like a new series. And then the next year, I don't want to say what you have gets outdated, but like technology is moving so fucking fast. And I, I know I sound like a boomer right now, but it's true. <laughs> like, sheesh. I can only afford so much. Banger alert! Leon, how old are you again? Uh, 42. Is this Danganronpa? What is, is there a track that sounds like this? Isn't seven in your name a reference to your age? I, I can see where you're coming from, but no. I think he'll finish all eight mainline games before Gaiden. Yeah, easy. Today we'll do three and four, tomorrow we'll do five. And then six and seven in one day. God, I, I love the Plink emote so much. He's just looking. Okay, nice whip. And they say use the fucking Kamaki moves. <laughs> Look at all the blinkers in chat. <laughs> Nice, Mike. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the story. That's how I'm gonna finish the games quickly. Story and skip all the stuff. Me who can't see the blink emoji. Get that better TTV extension then. Do it. Why some of them get wide and others not? Uh, there's a command you can do, I guess, to make them wide. I think it's exclamation mark W. Yeah, this is a new game plus as well. I'm surprised I haven't saved accidentally, like, once so far today. And because I said that, I will do it soon. <laughs> Hello, Chrono. Have you already New Game Plus and New Game Plus for even more New Game Plus? Yes! Yes. Has there been the daily question of where are you from yet? Yeah. Like half an hour ago, I think, give or take. Uh, up. 
I think the new question is, um... Remember how it used to be, what's your favorite Yakuza game? Now it's, so have you pre-ordered Gaiden yet? For now. For now. Chat, have you pre-ordered Gaiden yet? Oh, look at all the yeses. Damn. True Yakuza fans here. Will you get the secret ending where that shows how many I actually survived? Yes! Yes, we will. Don't worry. You also get to see how Richardson lived in that. I love this suspense theme in 3. Yeah, it's pretty good. My favorite suspense or distress theme has to be either Nervousness from 4 or the one in Dead Souls. They're so good. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, this fight might be a pain. We have to finish off these guys as fast as possible. So we can focus on or actually hold on, we can do this. Just every time he gets up. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Leon, as a Yakuza veteran, how much have the chances of Richardson being alive not even being explained at all? <laughs> yeah, probably 90%. Maybe they'll do it when you romance all the women in uh, 8, like you do in 7 or something. Like after, you know, just doing some stuff. Oh, he didn't do it. Can we romance Richardson? I hope so. I'm gonna be really sad if we can't. Yeah, I can't help it. Richardson is so easy to counter. Mac? Uh, sorry, Mystery Man? Why do so many people not like the combat in 3? Uh, limited options compared to other games, most likely. No! You... Well, thank god we have a lot of stamina. We got this. Excuse me? Okay, I... <laughs> uh, person who just asked why people don't like Yakuza 3, there you go. This game fucking sucks! What? What is this shit? Oh, oh it didn't work. God damn it. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not safe even from the walls. As a Yakuza 3 enjoyer, I hate the chase sections in this game. You know, memes aside, I think I actually like them. I thought the blocking thing was an exaggeration, but then I played it. Uh, look at all the Yakuza 3 slander in chat. I can't believe this right now. I can't believe this. <laughs> God, you guys- you guys just don't get it. Play the game again. You'll get it. And if you don't get it, play the game th for the third time. And if that's not enough, play it for the fourth time. And so on. <sighs> I 
I had more of an issue with the, the grabbing in 4. You know, that is... Like, I, I do think that is a legitimate issue with 4 as well. Because 4 has a moveset literally dedicated to grabbing. Like, they just grab you. Almost nothing else. You know, they do throw the occasional punch or kick, but... Yeah, it's the moveset where they move their hands like that in the air. They always just go for grabs. It's really annoying. Oh, man. Kashiwagi. I sure hope we see him in Yakuza 4. <laughs> Uh, I think this scene is actually copyrighted, for some reason. Okay, here we go. Run from the police. Banger alert! Mm. I actually need to get a new controller. Uh, this is kind of trash. I'm trying my best not to fucking... Oh. <sighs> Damn it! Get off of me! What do you think about the combat in the Samurai games? Yeah, I'm not a fan either. I prefer the uh, mainline games usually. The combat in Death Souls though? Hoochie mama. Good stuff. I think all Yakuza games should be like that. Oh no. Yo, Salamandero, good. Mm. How are you? Oh no. Guys, I thought I was gonna bump into that wall. Mm. Okay, time to follow Date. Oh, did they make that official, Kragans? Wow. <laughs> RGG is gonna stream on Tuesday. Uh, the Western studio or the Japanese one? And what is it gonna be about? I swear to god, if it's like the... <laughs> if it's like the guided demo again, or like the 8 demo. I don't imagine they're gonna show anything new at this point, like... We're very close to Gaiden. I don't think I'm gonna watch that one. It's the Gaiden demo, oh boy. <laughs> Played by Chitose's voice actress, I see. Can't wait for the mobile game Like a Dragon Go, where we can get random encounters in real life, same. <laughs> I saw the Victor trailer for Tekken 8. Um, my first immediate thought was, oh shit, Noctis 2. You know, I talked with my friends about this. Tekken is no stranger to reusing... 
uh, to reusing other characters' movesets. But I feel like they're overdoing it with Tekken 7 and 8. Like, what's her name? The, the new lady? Um, the one wearing red? Um, she has moves from like five different characters. It's insane. Can we see Bruce again? I miss him. I miss him so much. Yo, larger Cody. Hope you're doing well. No! Fucking hell! God damn it! That's one minute wasted. Um. I'm playing Yakuza 5 and I'm on the Haruka part. What are your thoughts on it? It's a nice change of pace and I'm enjoying it, but I can see people who would hate it. Yeah, you pretty much nailed it. Some people love it, other others hate it. I enjoyed it. Because uh, rhythm games, hell yeah. Tekken 7 and 8 already seem like stripped down Tekken. Some characters look really weird in 8. Have you guys seen Steve? He looks so weird. Yo, nice sweater, actually. Look at him. He's out in his pajamas. Yakuza 3 enemies have unparalleled drip. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I see how it is. You know what? I don't think anyone is going to care about this. All right, bitches. Who woke him up? Wake up, babe! Kiryu's <laughs> walking by the street. <laughs> Let's go and get him. Let's go and get him. That nasty fucking... store How many people there are, god damn. I think we're gonna get roped into a sub story here. Taichi. Yeah, there's an item in three that makes it have infinite heat. You need to finish uh all the ultimate match stuff on uh with S rank. <laughs> okay, I can't wait for that fucking sub-story guy back there to show up and be like, Hey, I got a sub-story for you. Uh, 
Uh, stop it. Who is your favorite orphan? The only right answer is Tai Chi. Mm. Yeah. Nice, Cyan. Yeah, the sub story is cool. into the Yakuza 4 final boss's Tiny Mura with only two heals, thinking, yeah, it can't be that bad. Never again. The trick to that boss fight is just, like, spam grabs. Like, just circle, nothing else. Circle, circle. Circle, circle. And circle. And circle! That's all you need to do. And enjoy your iframes. Rikia versus evil Rikia, yeah. Man, I don't know why I'm here, it's 1am, but Kiryu should still be in Fortnite. I agree! I agree. We need Fortnite streams on this channel. That final boss is the worst thing I ever experienced in the game. I had to buy the stupid anti-bullet armor. Okay, what did you think about Jingu in that case? The fi the pre the second to last final boss in Kiwami one. Did D two A play it during this playthrough? No. I don't think it plays in any story fight. Of course, the day they drop Kiryu or Majima or both in Fortnite, I'll stream that. Five billion viewers. All right, chat break time. I'll be right back. Stay. ちょっとちょっとお客さん。うん。うちはビジネスホテルじゃないんだよ。カップル以外はお断り。どういうことだ。あんたたちどうせろくな商売してない人たちでしょう。うちの部屋使って犯罪まがいのことされてもこまんのよ。要は目的がはっきりしてないとダメみたいですね。ねえ、おばちゃん。はい。カップルじゃな
ここですねああそういやないか姉ちゃん何やお前らまだことも始まってないようだし少し時間をもらえるか誰やお前登場界四代目キリュウカズマだ何やとこれはこれは四代目なんでこのようなとこまでわざわざあんたに聞きたいことがうわあ敵や敵が来たぜハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイですファキンギフトキュウォッカプションガイスポッカプションソーパーフェクトワイスイロニングライクダッツみーわんみーわんみーわんみーさーん。ガンダーガンダーあお。わる。わすひゅう。No. Leon, if you don't mind me asking, why didn't you make videos for Ishin? Uh, boss videos. I wanted to make those before Gaiden comes out, but I don't know. Like things just kept popping up. You want to know the real answer? No one cares for Ishin. Nah, just just kidding. Um, but but I wanted to do that actually. But we'll, we'll see. I think when I finish the marathon, I'll have like two or three days. I guess I can try. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did he go down or up? Chat, who was paying attention? Down. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The shin was so hyped and the story was mid. Yeah. Like. <coughs> excuse me. I don't like. Well, I like Ishin. It's not one of my favorites. But I still do. Like. My opinion stands, or my thought stands, that uh, it still is a pretty big deal. Just for the fact that、uh, we wanted the game for so long. And then we finally got it. I don't. Yeah, it's not this one. D 
Do you think a possible Kenzan remake will do worse because of Ishin? No, I don't think so. Ishin is more... What's the word? Is it uncharted territory? Like, something we've seen even less than Ishin? Um... I don't know. Maybe it's gonna have a similar impact. Again, I just... When it comes to samurai games, they're cool. But... They're not... Like, samurai stuff usually isn't for me. One exception is, um... Onimusha. I wanted to play that on stream again. Uh, thank you, Hashir. Ishin did good in the financial side. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, at this point of time, I think any release they do is gonna do, you know, decent at least. No, I think it's up again. Maybe uh, it's time for the top floor now. Yep. Sick. You know what? I don't think anyone cares really, but let me just take it off. Uh oh. Here we go! I love, I love that, hype armor. I love it, I love it. Um, but you know what they say? It's the fault of New Yorkers games. Yo, Mr. Shit His Pants, thank you for the ten. Thank you. Hyper armor, oh, oh, I can't, like, oh God, oh. The reason Kenzan will do bad is because people are gonna flame it for being accurate to the 1600s. Well, they already said if they do Kenzon, it's gonna be different. They're not, like, they're gonna change a lot of stuff about it. I'm gonna have to annihilate the Ishin for my SSD when Gaiden comes out? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. The most sussy boss fight ever. Oh, maybe one more hit. Is it gonna be skipped? Dude! Ah, uh, it's not happening. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Now that's a romantic night. If your date night doesn't go like this, I don't want to hear romantic advice from you. Sir. Yeah, I don't know why Kanda would avoid that. Anike! Coconuts. Anike! Yes. I kinda don't like this game. <laughs> uh, I should be banned from YouTube for laughing at that. <laughs> Leon, my membership is over. How do I remove the Discord role? It should be automatic, but um, I might need to fix that. Hmm. Is there a silly mod for Yakuza 4? No. Wait, if I were to move the keyboard, how would it look like? Oh, that looks way less uh, disorienting. Mm. Yeah, Yakuza 1 and 2 both have HD remasters. Um, for the PS3 and for the Wii U, but we never got them in English. This filler. Leon Yakuza Zero or are you for are you for a remake? Yakuza Zero. You guys are about to witness the Yakuza Five gameplay. Watch.
Hmm. can skip Yakuza 5. No, we can't do that to Yakuza 5. We can't, right, chat? We gotta play Yakuza 5. It's essential to the Yakuza experience. play Yakuza 5 and watch all the cutscenes? Pick one. Oh. oh, fuck! It happened! I didn't want to save. God damn it. What Ammon is the hardest in your opinion? Original one, Ammon. <laughs> are you gonna play the hunting minigame in Yakuza 5? Or are you gonna play the hunting minigame? Yeah, wait. Is that written on purpose that way? <laughs> the hunting minigame Yakuza 5? Or the hunting minigame in Yakuza 5? Which is it? Mini game Yakuza 5. Game 5. <laughs> I mean, we'll have to play the hunting. It's uh, part of the story. <sighs> Will you play a mini game in 5? Yes, don't worry. Chat favorite Yakuza is the. Mini hunting. Oh, I wish it was mini hunting. But unfortunately, it's big hunting. Majima, hurry up, goddammit. I tried pushing him last time. It's, uh, not fun. What is your favorite Yakuza game? Um, Zero, Seven, and both Judgment games. Yo, a bus? Stream entirely in French tomorrow. What, because of Victor and Tekken 8? Last Majima fight between uh, well, him and Kiryu. But honestly, you know, they did it well. This is a really good fight, story wise. Uh oh. 
he's tired. He's gonna get a little leafy. Yo, Nimbus. Here you, Shahi. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so tired today. Watch him, my buddy. Yo, Takumi. Yakuza 6 was, was the song of life, but what was Yakuza 5? The Fulfiller of Dreams. That's the official Japanese subtitle. I thought it was gonna have one pixel, but no. Almost got me there. Almost. Conspirators. The filler of dreams. <laughs> God, this place looks so gorgeous. I like it. Do not skip the Kanda head part. The what part? Yo, yeah, tea bag. Shit! The big boys are in town. <laughs> Leon, you're not gonna skip the Mine call scene, right? I guess we can keep it for chat. For chat. We can keep it. Leave or don't leave? Go outside or don't go outside? Which one would chat pick? <sighs> chat, when was the last time he touched grass? Why do people talk about touching grass? Are they stupid? Do people just, like, walk the, the front yard and touch grass like this? Are they okay? Tell me! I wanna know! Maybe it's a cultural difference. You know? And you know what I understand? Culture. Culture. I ate all the grass, oh no. <laughs> Do they have grass in Bahrain? So, some places. Okay, you know what? Fuck this fight. I don't think anyone cares about this anyway. Man, I can't wait for the purple guy. Purple guy? Oh shit. Damn! <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Look at these guys. So cute. They hesitate. It's the heat aura warding off all the... Um, you know. You know. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> there he is. Yakuza's very own purple guy. No! Oh, okay. Almost. There we go. Do you think Hell's Gauntlet should be a heat action rather than a finisher move for Kiryu? I think for what it is in this game, it works as a finisher. I mean, Shinada got it as a heat action, of all people. Which was also okay. I hate long heat actions. Yeah, fair enough. You know, I remember when Judgment first came out. Um, I think I was I uploaded the video of the gameplay, and someone was like, "Oh wow, pressing buttons to get like a, a short cutscene, how exciting!" And at that moment, I questioned everything that I liked about Yakuza. I'm just like, wait, my whole life did I really just like pressing buttons to watch little cutscenes? And then I thought, you know what? Yeah, fuck yeah. It's epic. It's epic. Oh, look at chat. <laughs> They're all like, yeah. Yeah, I, I think what that person didn't take into account is, um, well, if you don't want to watch these cutscenes, you can just not do them. You have a lot of options still. Leon, I think you should use the War God Talisman against Luck along. He deserves it. No, what if there's one guy that's watching and he's like, Yo, oh, fuck you, Leon! No skill! <laughs> Just kidding, I don't really care. But... No! No, you... Oh, God. No! What was I stuck on? Dude. <laughs> oh, no. Get back here, you...
I think the controller being fucked is actually showing its effects today. Last time I played this, when I was doing the practice, I got him on the first lap. I usually get him on the first lap, too. But, that's just what they call a skill shift. That's gonna be me in the morning of the Garden release. Woo! Garden is out, baby! Woo! Let me take the gun, actually. Get some heat. I broke my controller playing Yakuza 3. Damn. <laughs> hey Gaiden is out and your internet connection is too. Please, no. Not that day. Who is he clapping at? I'm surprised these guys aren't memes. Yeah, listen to them. You think they'll keep making beat em up games after Gaiden? Most likely, I can see them doing that, yeah. Alright, you saw a purple guy. Now meet! Red guy. Uh oh. He's wearing red. Nice, Hefe. I literally have to live a week without the Yakuza. Oh no. My condolences. You can pull through. I believe in you, you can do it. Do it. The man himself. Oh, shitty boss, what are you talking about? Chat. Yo, Abbas, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I'm gonna stream um, Gaiden day one. Day one. Hopefully, our one, but we'll see about that. Mata, mata yo. I have to skip the beautiful ice cutscene. It's copyright. Okay, guys, we have to do this heat action this time. Hold on. No! Stay still. Oh, hell yeah. My favorite movie, the beer case heat action. <laughs> So fucking silly. Thank you again, at boss. Thank you. Hope you're doing good, man. Just wanted to ask, are you gonna stream your Gaiden playthrough? I'm lost on what you're planning to do, Lamau. 
Let me out. Yeah, I'm gonna stream my first playthrough side stuff. Try to make videos in the same week as well. Yeah, the scene where Lao Kalong gets a minor headache is copyrighted. Oh boy, best face right here. <laughs> Finally, holy shit. <laughs> Dude, can you just grab him? Holy shit. Oh, no way, no way. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Oh, sick, sick, sick. <laughs> the fact that this is optional is insane. I'm gonna brute force it. Nice, finally. Yeah, I think every time we see that uh, quick time event, we have someone in chat who never saw it. Optional quick time events are, you know, just crazy. Oh shit! Fuck. Okay, uh... Look away for a little bit, chat. No! Do it! Do it! Oh my god. This just made me remember how much I hate that a lot of heat actions in this game, the enemies have to be in a neutral state for you to be able to do it. What that means is they have to be standing still. Usually. Yo, Sean, how you doing? Kanda. Nice briefcase. I wonder what it has in there. Yep, it's the Tamiya chapter. Here we go. <laughs> Look at all the Tamiyas in chat. Wow, chat is asking for no skips. No way. Alright, we'll do that. <laughs> Alright, what should we ask Tommy about first? Black Monday, the CIA, Mine. <laughs> Yes, 
Yes. I'm right here. Why do we love Tommy as input dumb so much? Hmm. Man, we spent so much time loving the guy, we we don't even know why. Oh shit, there he is! <laughs> Yo, Abbas, thank you for the dragon tier. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy the Tommy emote. <laughs> Let's get Date and meet the man himself. The side you missed got replaced. <laughs> I need a new controller. I really do. God. I think... I don't know if it even has been a year since I bought this. Feels bad. Yeah, rip the DualSense 5. It's a um, crimson red dual sense five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh god, a Tommy a podcast, imagine. <laughs> what the Tommy are doing? Oh no. I don't know if he can repair the drift. So if I try to go straight, he kind of goes to the left a little bit. Oh no. Oh, God. What is this? Yakuza 5? DualSense has the worst drift ever? Really? Man, that sucks. Maybe I should just get a PS4 controller. How do you think the... Wait, how do you think will Infinite Wealth Deluxe Editions be? Well, we already know a lot about the Infinite Wealth DLC. Uh, the most important stuff seems to be in the normal deluxe edition. And then the highest one is like a lot of stuff you really don't need. Kind of like 7. Like the karaoke music CD, whatever. Though this time with 8, you actually get some use out of it. You can play it everywhere, not just the jukebox. I'll be right back. Umutida <laughs> お前も 
沖縄の例のリゾート予定地で養護施設をやってるんだってなああそれが原因で堂島大吾の土地賠償の話を断ったそうじゃないか何が言いたいお前とこの谷谷隆三互いに利害が一致してるってことだどういうことだ<音楽>お前はあのリゾート開発が止まればいいと思っているああそう俺もあのリゾート開発が止まればいいと思っているなんだとあんた何を言ってるんだあのリゾートがなければあんたは基地拡大法案を通せないんじゃないのかそうだなだがそれはもういいんだもういいなぜ簡単だあの法案俺は初めから通す気がなかったからだなんだと聞かせてくれ沖縄の基地拡大とリゾート開発そのすべてについてうん俺もお前たちに頼みたいことがある何を聞きたいんだ沖縄米軍基地拡大の本当の狙いってのは何なんだうん俺の本当の狙いそれは世界で暗躍する組織の正体を暴きその組織を潰すことだ利権絡みのマフィアか何かかそんな簡単なもんじゃない俺が追いかけているのは通称ブラックマンデーと呼ばれている組織だブラックマンデーそれってあの伝説の武器密輸組織のことじゃないのかさすがは分野だよく知ってるな1987年あの世界大恐慌の引き金になったニューヨーク株式市場の株価大暴落を裏で操っていたとさえ言われる武器商人アンドレ・リチャードソンを中心とした武器密輸集団通称ブラックマンデー俺はその正体を知るためにあの沖縄米軍基地拡大を仕掛けたブラックマンデーの正体を知るためだとどういうことだ知っての通り基地拡大の最大の目的は日米で共同開発する BMD の配備だその開発の裏では超単位の金が動いている設計図だけでもとてつもない価値を秘めているんだとてつもない価値日本の最先端の技術とアメリカの兵器開発のノウハウの結晶沖縄の基地拡大法案による新 BMD 配備は他のどの国が逆立ちしても売ることができない最強の防衛兵器の誕生を意味する実現すれば中東を含めたアジア一帯の国々は今後十数年日本に手出しすることはできないそんなものが沖縄に日米共同開発の BMD は世界の防衛バランスを変えるほどの代物なんだと一応世界的にはそういうことになっている一応だとああそうだそういった風評があることが重要だったんだどういうことだ世界最新の兵器開発それを欲しがるやつらが動き出すってことだまさかその欲しがってるやつってのがブラックマンデーその通り世界中に武器を売りつける武器密輸組織ってのは常に最先端の技術を欲しているもしその技術が日米以外の国に流れたら世界の防衛バランスを崩壊させるほどの技術やつらが指をくわえたまま見ているはずがない新 BMD はブラックマンデーをおびき出すための餌ってことか
沖縄の基地拡大法案はあくまでそのブラックマンデってやつを誘い出すためのダミーだったとダミーとはいえ俺は本気で法案を通す形が必要だったそのために俺は鈴木にリゾートの話を提案し奴に利権を一手に渡すと持ちかけ基地拡大法案とセットの形で進めてきたつまり俺以外全ての国民を騙す必要があったんだそのくらいのことをしなければならなかったんだよ、はい、We are back Did you guys have fun? Perfect、oh, time to have my dinner Ah、uh, thank you Thank you Koala Thank you、uh... Mr. Shit His Pants. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Chairman, do you think Devlin will quit YouTube and you will take his place? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry, did I interrupt your fun, guys? It's okay. This is not the last time we play this game. God, that was only the first option, too. Sheesh. <laughs> It's okay, guys. It's okay. We'll be back someday. Yo, thank you for the 15 months, Jay. Thank you, thank you. We need a Tommy cosplay at 100k. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for another 20,、uh, Mr. Shit is Benz. Thank you. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Fellas, do we love this fight or hate it? I think when I was practicing, a surprising amount of people in chat said they love this fight. But、um, I think when X hard, it's really annoying. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> no, no, stay. I was just joking. Holy moly, the counters. Yeah, these are government guys, I guess. Actually, why didn't the government pursue Kiryu here? Did Tamiya put in a good word for him or something? Yo, Hernan, we are winning. The free pass for the VR minigame. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate that so much. I, like the drone racing thing, I just I, I don't like it. I hate it.、Um, your best bet is gonna be to look up like either videos or guides. I don't remember anything about it now. <sighs> okay, this is the last cutscene we'll keep. End the call. Sure, but Maji, Allah! <laughs> we don't even know anything about it so far, do we? Just that Ruben is being replaced. Oh, look at that! 
Tamiya was testing him to see if he can take on Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's canon. Barack Obama. <laughs> Man, it's kind of sad that Yakuza 3 of all games has a moment like this. Um, two tech, you, can, you can say two had a couple. But then from there, it just all kind of goes downhill between Kiryu and Majima. Majima gets too depressed, Kiryu gets too isolated. <laughs> How much of it do you think it was him acting up and... Wait, who are we talking about? Oh. I, I do think, I mean, he, he definitely was genuinely worried. My Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it just kind of makes me sad because Kiwami won. I mean, you know, my, you know, everybody has their own opinions about Majima everywhere, but. You know, um, I, I do think it was a little too much. Especially given the new fight they added with the ducks. Where Majima fucking gets shot. Falls into the sea and Kiryu's like, oh. Now my problem. <laughs> <laughs> like, all of that was not in the original one. From the looks of it, though, I think either Gaiden or Eight might have more of that stuff, though. Like, actual, you know. Them acting or behaving like actual, like, lifelong friends. Hmm. <sighs> 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 Back to filler Kuza. Excuse you. Are you saying Tai Chi is filler? No way. You take that back right now, young man. I would argue Tai Chi is the most important thing in the whole story. Look, see? Tai Chi no progress goku wa maji de yaru kara iya nanda yo. Uh oh. He's gonna do it. Uh oh. Oh sh. Oh no, he's dead. He's dead. Tai Chi, buddy, you okay? Man, I can't believe Tai Chi died. The Tai Chi kick is so powerful. If you fail it, you die. <laughs> Look at him. Dead J. This is not Taichi, by the way. He got replaced. This is Daichi. Yo, V2 Smith, thank you for the dragon tier. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy the... 
Should I say Saijim is there or tell me a. Oh, wait. A wrestling match. Yeah, why not both? Are you gonna stream Gaiden day one? I will be streaming Jaden day one, yes. God, I can't wait. Here we go. Let's do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, drop kick. Oh wait, not drop kick. Grab. Okay, now I think I get... Oh, never mind. Drop kick, probably then knock down. Nice. Do you think that drop kick just became shit after OG2? I think that drop kick has always been useless until 6. I mean, if you really want to make use of it, then you can, but it's not that good. What Yakuza game was the hardest to beat in Legend? Hmm. It's really hard to pick one because, I don't know. I don't feel like there's any impossibly difficult ones. Kiwami sucks on Legend. <laughs> Kiwami sucks on Legend if you don't have the Kamaki moves. Which, they take a lot, I think, to unlock. Um, unlike original one. Original one, you can just unlock the Kamaki moves, like, casually, on a casual playthrough. Just, like, visit Kamaki, um, continue the story, come back, um, continue training, go back to the story, come back. Like, you go back to Purgatory, like, you know, regardless of what happens. So, it's just, it's, it feels very natural. Uh, right. But yeah, I realize mm -hmm. that, you know, when it comes to unlocking stuff like that, if there's a lot of tedium to it, I don't like it. Um, case in point, look at Yakuza 2. I think Yakuza 2, at the very least, has my one of my least favorite methods of getting moves. Um, like, it's, it's really, really, really stupid shit. Um... Original 2 and Kiwami 2 both have this, but I think Kiwami 2 makes it even worse. So stuff like, oh, you want to use a bat heat action? Well, go play in the batting cage like 200 times or something like that. I hate it. I don't like it. And then, of course, that's not like, that's not even talking about the Kamaki moves in 2. The Judgment games I can kind of forgive because if you want a specific move, just go to like a QR code that you know always has that move and go scan the code. But Kiwami 2, like you, you have to go on 
a whole journey. Um, yeah, Haruka, the drug dealer. <laughs> Look at Bob on the left, just standing. What do you think he's looking at? Did you have to do Shogi and Lost ah. Judgment for a move? That sucks. Why do you do so much damage in Kiwami 2? <laughs> I don't know. Oi. You know, when it comes to damage, I feel like people don't talk about something like Kiwami 1. Maybe it's just because in Kiwami 1, it does take a bit more effort to get that damage. But for those who were there yesterday for the Nishiki fight, mm -hmm. I think you all saw how that went. I literally killed the guy in the first phase, and there's like three. Um, Yakuza 0 also has the same problem, by the way. Well, I say problem. Like, it's not, it's not an issue to me, but... I think it's just with 6 in Kiwami 2, it might be easier to get to that state. But, um, Kiwami 1 and 0 and Ishin. Original Ishin and new Ishin, but new Ishin more so. You can do all of that too. And then there's Yakuza 4. <laughs> I mean, like, Yakuza 5 too, actually. Once you get the food upgrades, you can do a lot of damage. Kiryu has a heat action in Yakuza 4 that takes. A whole HP bar. Alrighty, sleep well, Jade. The thing about Kiwami 2 as well, and 6, is if you really don't want to upgrade the, uh, your damage, you can just choose not to do that. But there is like a a catch to, to that. Uh, that being, some moves are locked behind uh, a certain attack number. So if you want the tiger drop, you have to get like 160, I think. But the tiger drop sucks in 6 and Kwame 2 anyway, so. I kind of appreciate that there aren't any damage upgrades in 4... Yeah. I do kind of appreciate how in 6 and Kiwami 2 you can choose how, like, how much damage you want to do. Oh, not at all, Jade. I like how people never mention Lost Paradise. Like, it's the middle child. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people haven't played it. It doesn't help that now it's still exclusive to the PS4. Technically the PS5 too, but... It would be nice if we got a PC port, but... Mm. Yeah, the charged attack thing in Kiwami. I wonder if that's intentional or a bug. What happens if you step in too early? Do you still finish this, or...? I'm not sure. First time I played this, I thought Haruka was selling weed. <laughs> uh, imagine that. We can check, but I feel like... If it, like, cost us, like, five minutes or something. Oh, you restart, okay. Uh-oh. Nothing personnel, kid. I wish Harkus old weed. <laughs> Why isn't the live chat displaying on the screen? It's been bugged for some days now, sadly. Let me try to refresh.
Yeah, I think it's still stuck. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> I really hope by the time Gaiden comes out, it's gonna be okay. But I remember this happening... It, it, was, it wasn't even that long ago, but the chat just wasn't working. And then I tried after, like, a few days or a week, and then it was working again, so... Fingers crossed, I guess. Mm-hmm. Come on, sir. Three days straight, I can't open YouTube's emote tab. I wonder if that's linked to what we're having with the chat. Oh, wow. I think... Uh, when I was playing this a few days ago, we've. I think at this point I was at the la last long battle. Then again, I think I took a bit more time today in the beginning. I mean, like the starting soon screen, and then I kept some cutscenes more than before. Uh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice show you're watching there. Imagine if Haruka exposed their criminal past on stage at the end of five. What would the crowd's reaction be? I mean, she was getting cancelled to fuck just for. The, you know, the, the normal version of what happened there. Imagine. <laughs> now imagine a drug story. Goddamn. <laughs> Black Monday. Look at the moon. I like how almost everyone just memes on Haruka and Yakuza 1, saying she's the one who shot up the whole bar. That's canon. Are you into pro wrestling? No. Mm. Yeah, that is true, Solo. I recorded a video of it, too. Uh, I mean, like, I didn't upload it to YouTube, I just have it. <laughs> Find Ayako. Easy. Hey, Botch. Hope you're doing well, too. Mm -hmm. We 
have an encounter. You know, it would be funny how six could not happen if Haruka decided to sleep on the day she met Park. Hmm. Or if, if Kiryu was sleeping that day and he didn't see anything about Park wanting to visit. Longest chase battle of the whole game. Ayako, please, stop! <laughs> Infinite 12 has new game plus as a paywall after all. You said Deluxe is the best version to buy. Right, so you can find info. I think it's on the Asian version of... Um, RGG Yeah, I think it's on the Asian version of the website you'll find some details about the DLC, not all of it. So, let me just make sure real quick. We still don't have all of the details, mind you. We don't have everything. Yeah, so here, um, I'm going to send the link in the chat. So, go to that link, and go to the very end, like at the bottom. You'll see uh, pre-order here, standard, deluxe, and ultimate. If you click on deluxe, you'll see what comes with that. If you click on ultimate, you'll see what comes with that. So, deluxe comes with, uh, allegedly, new game plus, and special outfits and items. And then ultimate edition has that pack. And then has more outfits for Kiryu, Ichiban, and others based on past characters. And new swimwear, okay. Um, and then there's the Sujimon battle and special re uh, re resort pack. Now we know what the resort stuff is. Um, so that seems like it's just... So for the resort, it seems like it's going to be just additional items you can decorate. That's it. Sujimon battle, though, is probably going to be like, you know, the clan creator stuff. Like additional characters to uh, help you. And then there's the Yakuza CD collection. Um, and it says, ex it explicitly says that you can play them while ro roaming outside and in hideouts. Um, so, yeah, that's the Ultimate Edition. But the uh, New Game DLC, the Master's Vacation Pack, is still a question mark. Because it says, this is the exact quote. Use your Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth clear data to play New Game Plus in one of the three difficulty levels, Normal, Hard, and Legend. And then, experience the all-new story of the Big Swell in capital, Big Swell. And enjoy special outfits and items available only in this bundle. So, because of this second sentence, experience the all-new story of the Big Swell, people have been speculating, uh, that, that, like... This adds a new thing to New Game Plus, but New Game Plus itself is not DLC. But I'm not so sure about that. Um, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see. We need like further confirmation, but I don't think things are looking good. Also, everyone gets this. Normal Edition, Deluxe, or Ultimate. Um, if you pre-order, you get uh, two jobs. One for female characters and one for male characters. Uh, the job is not... DLC this time around in the typical sense. It will probably become DLC once the game launches. But if you pre-order, you'll get it for free. Yeah, they don't clarify what Big Swell is. They'll probably talk more about it later, but I feel like this is the kind of thing you want to address as soon as you can, but I don't work at game companies, so I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what <laughs> Big Swell is. I hope both uh, the DLC jobs are good this time. Devil Rocker looked so cool, but um, 
it wasn't the best. Though, some of the stuff you learn from it, like the, the uh, what's it called, vampirism? The one where you, it, like, literally eat your enemy and gain HP. Um, I hope... I mean, sorry. That was good. That was good. But the class itself, or the job itself, was eh. Yeah, Matriarch was okay. Definitely better than uh, Double Walker. store site of infinite wall doesn't even describe what is in the non-standard editions kind of shady yeah i imagine they'll either add more info later or um rgg studio on twitter or social media is going to talk more about that later Yeah, I do kind of wish they were a little more communicative with the fan base. <laughs> yeah, Ayak was not kidding around. God damn. <laughs> Sparks. RGG's falling off, bro, and I'm here with the popcorn in my wallet sitting there eating the bait. We all are, I think. But we gotta try to do what we can. Mm. As long as they know people, you know, don't like the fact that New Game Plus is DLC, I think that's what matters. Now, are they gonna do something about it? I don't know, but... Is that two fucking fights? It is. No way, bro. No way. Okay, I have an idea. Damn, this game thought it was Yakuza 5 for a bit. Why are people still calling it Yakuza? The Yakuza aren't even in the game anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Any more? Any more? Uh-oh. I think most people just say Yakuza because it's shorter. If you like, if you want to say like a dragon every time, you can do that. But... Or just say lad. I don't know. I think it's just a matter of people getting used to calling it that, really. It's nothing uh, super deep. What's what's funnier to me is that is the fact that they called it Yakuza, even though you don't play as a Yakuza. Sure, the story is about Yakuza, but. Oh, 
Man, like I think they have to be standing still. Hold on, let me see if I can do it this time. There we go. doing these on Legend? Not all of them. I mean, I never played Legend so far. This one is on hard right now. And I might do Yakuza 4 on hard as well. Translator back in the day said like a dragon is weird or something. They probably thought it wouldn't be like attractive. You know what this reminds me of? Any Evil Dead fans in chat? Go Octomex. Oh hell yeah, I loved it. Chat, we enjoyed the silly mod, right? Uh, thank you for dropping by Octo, appreciate it. So Evil Dead, that was going to be called Book of the Dead. But I think the publisher or something like that said no. That's like, that's not a not a really, like gripping, title. We need something else. So they called it Evil Dead. It's funny too, cause like, oh, book. Who's gonna want to watch a movie about a book? Daigo. Let's go, Tai Chi. What's your favorite Evil Dead movie, Leon? Probably the second one. I like all of them, but uh, the second one is probably my favorite. What if? Okay, what if I say the latest one? I'm gonna get freaking. Torches and pitchforks outside my house. Yeah, if we're counting Ash vs. Evil Dead, I love that the most. But um, if we're picking the movies only, then... <sighs> Evil Dead 2. I like Army of Darkness too. It's really goofy. See this? This is my boomstick. Persona 3? No. If I ever play Persona 3, it's just gonna be like one stream. But I don't think I will buy that. When is the evil Dead Souls? <laughs> yeah, I keep wondering what that super game is gonna be like. A merge of Sonic, Yakuza, Shenmue. That's also an MMO at the same time. The Evil Dead remake? Yeah, I was talking about the second one. I didn't watch the 2013 one yet, but I heard it was okay. Better than uh, the, the latest one that came out this year. I, I watched the one that came out this year. Like, it was... It was okay, but... I don't think I can give it more than 5, 6 out of 10. And I think I'm being generous. Wait, what is this heat action? Oh, I think it's the Essence of Terror.
Damn, look at all the... Kiryu, stop! Oh my... He won't stop. <laughs> he won't stop! Oh god, he's killing them. Have you played any of the Evil Dead games? I played the online one that's unfortunately shutting down this year. And I played a couple of the PS2 ones as well. <laughs> uh. You watched any of the Scream movies? Uh, long ago. Long ago. I think that's all this cannon, but Kamo just forgot about it. Yeah. Please, just give us Tommy a back. <laughs> next time. Next time. Whatever that is. Oh, probably before 8 comes out. Damn, we really need to hurry up with this game. I'm probably gonna skip literally every cutscene next to uh, what the Yakuza for. After that Silent Hill mobile game, are you worried about Silent Hill 2 Remake and or Silent Hill F? Well, yeah, I suppose. I think every Silent Hill fan is. I'm just hoping they're gonna be okay. Please. Please. The Rekia cutscene is copyright. I can't keep it. I might seem like I'm bullshitting, but I think it really is. I don't know what to say after Ascension, man. Peek! That's what you say, peek! Come on. Oh shit, I just realized I skipped the thing. Yeah, that's fine. We're late, guys. We're late. We have to hurry. We have to hurry. Leon, can you explain why those cutscenes are copyrighted? Because there's like five seconds that apparently oh, belongs to someone and they don't like that I'm showing them. So they want the money that I make from this eight hour stream. Man, I hate that system so much. They need to add uh, the ability to mute parts in like long streams. Because that's an option with shorter streams or videos, but not if it's like six hours or more. I don't know the exact number, but yeah. If you're looking for Daigo... I think with a game like, uh, what was it called? Do you guys remember Unbearable and Celine's Unbearable Night? Those games had quite a bit of copyrighted stuff. But because I think the stream was like, what, three hours and a half or something like that? I was actually able to mute those parts. 
Is the copyright from someone that uploaded the cutscenes or the publishing company? It could be multiple things. It could be Sega themselves. It could be uh, like a snippet of a song that someone owns. Um, and I think sometimes it's just like spoiler cutscenes that they forgot to lift the restrictions of. No, wait. God damn it. Shit. Shorter than six hours. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Man, imagine this in real time. Kiryu went to Okinawa and forgot that he was supposed to be not in Okinawa, but in Toto Hospital. But in order to go to Toto Hospital, he has to go back to Kamurocha. <laughs> Most costly mistakes ever. Let's do this. How to hold clan thugs. Fellas, who had the best part in Yakuza 4? Let's talk about it. Yo, thank you for the six months, TF2 God. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Toilet, man. Saijima. Briefcase. <laughs> what? <laughs> silly chat. Silly, silly, silly chat. Okay, Tanimura, goated. Cultured. Tiny Mora, and I'm not even kidding. What was the question? The best part in the office of War. Like, best section. Character. They always fucking pick up the gun. Why don't you pick the sword instead? Wait. No. Dude. Give me the gun. That's not the gun. There we go. Whoa, the double. Leon, how come every time I check in on a stream of yours, it's 1am for me? My sleep schedule has been fucked recently, but I've been... I'm training myself to be on time for guiding. Why don't you have the golden pistol? What did you need to do for that again? Finish all the minigame requirements, I think? Yeah, screw that for this game. <laughs> there is the bitch. Okay, time to ignore everyone except the couch guys. You can't ignore couch guys. Any games in 3 are pain. That that they are. Yes. So wait, was it? Yes, over there. Normalize long fights where you can ignore everyone. Normalize it. I think sub stories. Wait. What did sub stories give you again? I know that coin lockers gave you the beads of good fortune. Mm. Yep, you can just run past all those guys. 
They should bring back couch guys. Oh god. <laughs> Please, no. I don't know why I'm giggling like a madman at Tommy's stupid face. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the emote. Alright, now this bitch can get it. Oh, the sub stories give you the golden pistol, I see. I do have... Oh, I need to make a new um, premium save then. Because I'm pretty sure I do have an Ammon save somewhere in this, on, the, on the PC. Wait, how do you regain heat? I'm using uh, an accessory called the War God Talisman. You always have max heat. Uh, you get it by finishing ultimate battles or ultimate match. All of them on S rank. I'm a couch guy in real life. <laughs> Dude, why is he? Dude, move! Man, too lazy to even walk. There we go. You think Gaiden will be the game with the least amount of chapters so far? It's possible, yeah. It's possible. Uh, doing all heat actions gives you that, I think, amulet. Where you can do heat actions without heat. And you have, like, red lightning around you. Alright, watch this, guys. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch. 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 Yeah, pistol guys on the remaster are bugged. I think not all of them, but most of them. No. Leon, how many enemies blocked you so far? Almost all of them. Hey, buddy. Oh, I thought I was gonna do the cigarette one, but I guess not. <laughs> Leon, you now have to play the section with gun guys on the PS3 version of the game? No. I'm good. Hey, Leon, time zone check. Almost 3 a.m. What about you guys? Is anyone watching me in the middle of the night right now or even ahead of me? Who else has a fucked up sleep schedule right now? How many times did you make Curious Smoke? I think... Four? Go to sleep, Leon. Who's gonna continue Yakuza 4 if I do that? Chair? You all know chair sucks at gaming. Alright, almost there, almost there. Let's go. Four in the afternoon in America. Damn. Damn. Put a one Let's in the go. chat if you're from America. This guy has different names, like... Every time you fight him. I think at first it was what? Man in black or like foreigner or something and now he's CIA operative and then he's... <laughs> Andre Richardson. Do you even get his real name? I, I don't know. I mean like, um, in a fight. Ah, shh. That's a lot of ones, holy shit. Oh, table, stop it! Stop breakdancing. God damn it. We gotta fight here. You doing the house of extras. I see. <laughs> Are you nuts? Black to mysterious foreigner to CIA operative. 
Let's see what his name is going to be now, soon. Uh-oh. Hello from Australia. Hello, assassin. He's angry. Look at the Redora. Leon, when are you gonna do a wall tour? 100k sub special. Hmm, hey Leon, do you prefer dynamic intros or dynamic ending to fights? I think dynamic intros. What about chat? Go to hell. Let's do it. For 100k, I want you to, to shave your beard and hair. Why? Do you hate me? <laughs> yeah, how about both? Dynamic intros and endings. That's where it's at. Oh my god, Leon, come to Texas. What do you guys have in Texas? No, give me Holy Guns and barbecue. <laughs> Come to Brazil so you can see a live rubber bullets. <laughs> Barbecue, horses, peek and pie, oh, hell yeah. Imagine Essence of Dharma in Dragon Engine. Yeah. Whoa, with a fast walls from shit. It's like Silent Hill in Ohio. <laughs> Damn, the US sounds uh, nuts. No way, he's not blocking? No way! Do you think that lad going outside of Japan is bad? And if so, or if not, why? No, I mean, I, I, I think I can see why people would be upset. Yakuza is a very Japanese game. But if there's a good reason to go outside, then why not? Um. Oh shit, hell yeah! I think traveling outside of Japan does not make the game series any less Japanese. Um, like, sure, you are going to a different country where they might speak different languages, but 
Judging by the trailer from Yakuza 8, um, doesn't everyone just speak Japanese anyway? Like, no explanation, they all speak Japanese. Which is kind of funny. It's like the counter, uh... It, it's like the opposite of the Yakuza 1 dub, it's hilarious. <laughs> Instead of everyone Japanese speaking English, now every American speaks Japanese. Damn. The shade. The shade. Danny Trojo is a secret Japanese, yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> hey, buddy. My problem is that the mystery of, the, of Yakuza, or lad, comes in the culture of Japan, where, as in the US, you always hear about the US from everywhere, unlike Japan. So that's why I think people think it's bad. Yeah, I think I get what you're saying. Um, but I'm pretty sure that Yakuza 8... I mean, a lot of it is probably going to take place in America. Best character, by the way. Not not this guy, the, the guy in, in a coma. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sure some of 8, at least, is going to be in Japan still. <laughs> Bro, someone complained about calling it Yakuza and now they're complaining about it in Japan. No, 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 no. In the chat, we're just discuss discussing the idea of, like, you know, uh, the if there's any problems with Yakuza leaving Japan. But I mean, I'm sure there's someone out there that doesn't like it, and that's fine. Set with any decision RGG makes. Uh, that, yeah, that's just the fact of life. That's not just exclusive to RGG, that's, you know, anything in general. Is Daigo actually a favorite character? Could it be? Of course not. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's not messing around now. Daniel Day Kim's character also speaks Japanese, yeah. Like, I think everyone speaks Japanese in America. And it's... Mm. I love Daigo. Yeah, I don't hate him, but I think he's, uh... Well, he's not, he's not a favorite, but I like him. And I do think he's overhated. Maybe not so much now, but... Uh, if you go back, like, years ago... There were so many memes about just how shitty Daigo is and like how incompetent he is, yada yada yada. And Kiryu like gets away with literally everything. Yeah, that's what I keep saying to Hojo. Mm. 
If they would set 8 in Japan, where would they set it in? In a hypothetical scenario, you mean? If, like if America was out of the picture? I don't know. It could be any new place. GG's guys, GG's. I think this took me about 40 minutes lo longer than last time. All right, it's time for the selfish deed. Any selfish deed fans in chat? The selfish deed is no freedom. I hope you'll do another no upgrade run. No, I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. Down and out, down and out, down, 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 down. Okay, while the intro plays, I'll be right back. We are the Yakuza 4. Let's go. New game plus, and boom. Let's go with heart. <laughs> The infamous Lone Shark. Best unskippable cutscene. Right here. Why can you not skip this? You wanna know why? This is actually a dynamic intro in disguise. <laughs> the thought of that is funny. Yakuza 4 has a fucking dynamic intro to the game. <laughs> Maybe we should put this on a tier list, like, counted among dynamic intros next time. Rain. Yakuza 4 is a boss fight, yeah. Oh no. Oh boy, here we go. Can I move? Please? Maybe now? Can I? Please, dude! <laughs> oh, look at all the completion stuff. Oh. Bob, stop spamming my fucking email, dude. Sheesh. Finally. <laughs> yeah, starting a new game, be like... <sighs> I 
Man, this game looks gorgeous in the rain weather, though. I love it. Mm -hmm. Here's Peak! I love this. We don't need to actually do the tutorial, by the way. Please read them to get the envelope off on the screen. Okay, thank you for saying that. Chat, do you care about that email pop-up? Like, do you try to get rid of it, or do you not care? Do you have that OCD? <laughs> I think sometimes, it, like, I look at it and I'm like, you know what, let me get rid of this shit. But it's not, like, it's not always. Pop-up has to go. <laughs> Quit. Yes. Yeah, that annoys me. I get rid of the minimap. We can do that too. Did you already play Yakuza 3 this stream? Yes, we finished it. Mm -hmm. Who's this? Kido. Kido with a surprise. Enjoy the dialogue in Yakuza 5. Oh, buddy, I know all about it, don't worry. Uh oh, they brought their boss. Well dressed Aniki. Oh god. Oh my god, they have a Gaiden and Yakuza 8 demo booth at the same convention in my country. And the problem is I'm not here. Wait, are you like abroad or some something? Oh yeah. I might get uh, Sake, because I think Akiyama does more damage when drunk. Oh, I see. Do you want to... well, I'm assuming you can't go? Um... Do the tutorial challenges, it's triggering my OCD. It's okay, it's over now. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, Akiyama, I always say this, but Akiyama in 4 is the best version of Akiyama. Well, I mean, there's only like two of them, gameplay-wise. Unless you want to count Yakuza Online, but no one counts that. Akiyama crashing a party. What makes him better than five? The wall bounding. It's insanely good in this game. Watch, you can do this in Yakuza 5. No quick time event. <laughs> uh. Yeah. 
that is like like I I love that so much. You can't do it in five. Um. You can at best get away with some hits in five. Yeah. Ball bounding, air juggle mechanic, he has on five. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, you can make some use of it, but... What's funny about Akiyama in five as well, uh, you can increase his uh, kicks, like with the square, the light attack, by a lot, way more than this game. But you rarely, rarely get to use that. But uh, you, can, you can use his full uh, kick combo in this game, easily. Oh shit, banger alert! Jimmy, oh no. <laughs> Thank you for putting uh, cursed images in my head. Is it only in my playthrough? I feel like Akiyama feels sluggish in 5. His combo is slow, and the damage is low too. I feel like it's a bug or something. No, um... Is there a speed upgrade in 5? I can't remember. And I can't remember if there's a damage upgrade either. The one. Mm. I don't think there is. Yeah, Akiyama's definitely quick in five. And his dodge is fucking insane. Like, one dodge. Uh, takes you like 10 kilometers away and he can dodge twice in that game Actually watch this My mind automatically thought, hey, Serna, that's the hideout. <laughs> Phallus! Look, it's... A key character in Yakuza 4. <laughs> okay, be honest now. If there was a character to your list, where would you put Yasko? Like, a whole franchise, not just this game. <laughs> C. D, at best. D or F? C. C. Okay, where would you put uh, Hana? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> oh, look at all the S tiers for Hana. <laughs> Hell yeah. A lot of phone calls today. The best compliment I could give Yasuko is she walked so Makoto could run. <laughs> oh my god, stop it! You know, all of these calls is literally me when I stream. 
when I'm not streaming, people <laughs> don't call me at all. When I'm streaming, hey, uh, I wanted to check on you. Uh, like, can we hang out? Hey, you want to go grab some karak tea? <laughs> like, where were you guys before? Yeah, Hana is in uh, Korohyo, but uh, it's mostly a cameo. I don't know if he talked to her. Hey, cousin, let's go bowling. Love brace. <laughs> Soon. Soon. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. There's the grabber guy. Is the level 75 party over level for the final boss of seven? Yes. Um, but, but still, I don't think you can finish the fight in like two seconds. But you'll finish it quick, like real quick. And the idea that every character in this game has unique hit actions is really cool. Like, there's shared ones, but the unique ones are so cool. The same guy we threw down, by the way, is back. <laughs> How do we feel about Tsuguchi? I like him. I think he's the best character in the game. I, I mean, you know, out of all the newly introduced characters. Like Yasuko, Katsuragi. Oh no. The controller is not controlling. talk though who likes shibata <laughs> trouble in tojo clan every arc is a game summarized here nice wiener kiddo He was watching. <laughs> Damn, what a perv. Could have just been more direct and asked, Kido. I had to look up who Shibata was. Oh no. <laughs> Kamurocho man. Florida man.
It's Saito time. I think that was his name? No, wait. Well built, man. Saigo. Saigo, Saigo. My bad. God damn it, Akiyama. Would you prefer the chase minigame comeback or say that? I don't mind it. I think it's okay. It's not tailing. Uh, I don't think I would like tailing anymore. Seven has one chase, yeah. We like Saigo's training, right? Who's your favorite trainer in this game? If it's not Saigo, fake fan. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at oh, chat. Look at all these fake fans. <laughs> yeah, I think Naira is also the best one. Uh oh. You come back home from a long day at work, you find Sugiuchi sitting on your couch. What do you do? Staring at you. Like he did something wrong. <laughs> Yo, she's here. Yes, would you like to share something with the class, Sugiuchi? Lily's test. Oh boy, I can't wait for Hostess Maker. <laughs> Said nobody ever. Oh shit, barely dodged that encounter. Hey, go, guys, come on, hostess maker. Let me see some Pog Champ in the chat, come on. Man, look at all this Yakuza Forest Lander. Sheesh. Which one is the best, Leon? Hostess maker in three or four? I'm gonna go with four. Mm-hmm. 
Man. The hostess maker really went a long way. Like, it started at absolute dog shit in Yakuza 3. And then it went to being one of the best, like, uh, the community's, uh, one of the community's most uh, loved side activities. Leon, did you play the first Yakuza? No. Have you? I love the red menu. Yeah, I really love the colored menus in this game, too. Do people unironically like the hostess minigames? Well, the cabaret stuff, like in Zero and Kiwami 2, I think people like that. But the actual hostess, like, clubs where you visit, like in, um, in this game, in Jewel or Shine, not so much. I wanna be your girl. Look at all the jellyfish in the background. Oh god. Well, we get this out of the way, I guess. I never went to Yakuza 6 hostess clubs. You know, I think those might be better than the ones in 3, 4, 5. Mm, I don't know. Like, I don't know. All I know is I don't like hostess clubs. Yeah, Yakuza 6 had the card uh, response thing. Time for the second test. Kiss. <laughs> Do you think Akiyama might get referenced or shown in Gaiden? They already showed him as a summon in 8, so he might be in a sub-story. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Mr. Shit His Pants. Um. Oh no. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Yakuza... A lot of the Yakuza games really are not that long, if you skip everything. And especially so if you do New Game Plus. Uh... Oh, how lovely. <laughs> Akiyama with a gun? No way. W wait, what is that dodge? Hold on. Okay, now he's dodging, actually. No, nice. Nice! Wait, wait. Expect what's coming in the chat soon when you reach the final showdown. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you.
Guys, why does he use a sword like this? Is he stupid? Like, Akiyama, Saijima, and Tanimura, they're all like, oh, sword. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> now, if this was realistic, that guy's head would be shish kebab, but it's not realistic, so... Mm hmm. Wooga booga sword. <laughs> Fuck! I didn't want to do that. They got me. They got me. Uh, well, I, I don't think I made a save so far for this playthrough, so whatever. Can you even delete saves, like, in game? Or do you have to go, like, to the. to your. Um, game files or whatever? I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help it. They got me. Oh, this is a new type of cutscenes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Scared everyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. Is the rubber bullet a really bad plot for Yakuza 4? Uh, debatable. It's funny, I think, at the very least. More! <laughs> Have you gotten every trophy in Yakuza 6? No. I haven't. I think the problem with rubber bullets is that, uh... I don't know if I should say it kind of takes away from Saijima as a character. Um... Because, like, you know, they go on about him being innocent, innocent this, innocent that. But the guy had full intentions of murdering everyone in that ramen shop. But they just brush it off. Um... And yeah, also the Coliseum speech. Like... <laughs> as soon as you know rubber bullets, then, well... I guess uh, GG's to that speech. I hope this guy doesn't see me. Oi! Oi! Oh wait! What, what am I going? God damn it. I was thinking too far ahead. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, the 18 years of nightmares for basically nothing. Like... I'm actually surprised they didn't delve into that. Like, there was nothing about him going, oh, like... You know, I lived a lie for like 18 years or blah blah blah. I think they should have at least, like, had Saijima, you know, talk about the whole thing more, but he didn't. I think it will be more forgivable if they lower the count T shots. Possibly, yeah. 18. Oh, 25 years, right. I was thinking of 18 guys. My bad. This track is pretty cool. <laughs> Akiyama gameplay, right here. <laughs>
Yo, Leon, I think your membership is bugged. Is it? What's going on? I got it for free. Someone might have gifted you. I'm not sure. Yeah, someone probably gifted you while you were away or something. Wow. Lumo hacking YouTube to get the free membership. Mods? Encounter spotted. Encounter avoiding successful. <laughs> In a way, I feel like the rubber bullets thing makes everything Sajima went through feel more tragic. Yeah. It does. Wait. Oh, right. Mods, Sawa Sensei, that guy. <laughs> Discord is broken, click the emote, but I still... Right, so just message me on Discord in private. Tell me that's you from YouTube, and then I'll take care of it after that. Message me on Discord so I know it's you. Uh, don't just say hi. Say hi, um... Put your name and say I'm trying to join, but I can't. She's the killer. If I came, I died from a real bullet. Do you think Yakuza Five story would be different, or no? Honestly, probably not much. You can assign anyone in the position of Akiyama for Five. Fucking put Tanimura in his place. Would be the same game. Akiyama existed in 5 to protect Haruka. And, 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 to point out how bad of an actor Katsuya is. Yeah, they didn't have to kill him. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see more about the cancer thing for Kiryu in uh, Gaiden or 8. We'll know everything there is to know. It's time for, for some mech. I don't think so, Morton. Uh, Tanimura was a special guest character. Oh! Oh!
What the fuck am I looking at? Okay. Okay. Now they've done it. What the fuck did they do to my Yakuza? This is... This is not my Yakuza. They fucking ruined this shit. Man... They really went wrong with the Yakuza, like, what the fuck is it? What am, what am I looking at? What is this? Oh. Not gonna lie, guys, I think the fucking series is ruined for me now. Sheesh. Like, it used to be so realistic and grounded and all of that, you know? Like, man, like... What am I gonna do now? I guess I'm gonna quit playing. <laughs> Leon, what's your favorite flavor of water? Water. Okay, uh, we should go to a very specific NPC now. Water. Oh, I forgot to get the alcohol. That's fine, I'll get it later. I say that, but I think this is the last shot for Akiyama. Yeah, it is. Whatever. Okay. Uh, maybe now I'll go, actually. I love when people say the series gets ruined when they change the names like a dragon, it always cracks me up. <laughs> you know, uh, to an extent, I get where they're coming from. It's a bit late to change the name, but I also kind of get why they changed the name. Um, the game not being about... Well, it could be about Yakuza... Well, we know it's that like Yakuza members are still there. We saw the fucking Tojo clan. We saw Sawashiro. Uh, we saw a lot of other, like, Yakuza guys. So the Yakuza is still very much active, somehow. Um, but having said that, you know... Um, the name change, there's a possibility it could confuse someone. But, like, I don't know, like, what are the odds? Um, chances are, if you get introduced to the games anyway, and if you look them up, just one search, and you'll know more about it. Or, like, if you know someone that introduced you to the games, the chances are they're gonna tell you, like, Oh, it used to be called Yakuza, but now it's like a dragon. And boom. How was it like to live knowing you're the only person who likes Yakuza 4? How was it like to live when you're asking me about Yakuza 4 with that question and not 5? K. 
كيف ادرس تخصص الموجونج الله يساعدك Yakuza is subreddit lately be like, I'm new to the Yakuza series, can I skip every game in this series? <laughs> oh, th that's been a thing for a while, honestly. Um, and I love how people shit on people. Uh, for like, starting with, I don't know, a recent game. When a lot of Yakuza fans got introduced to Yakuza, with Yakuza 5 as their first game, or Yakuza 4, or Yakuza 3. It's like, okay, why don't we hold those people accountable? Oh, wait, we don't. We don't need to. Like, you know, it's whatever. I just don't think much about it. Yeah, like, just play and, you know, it's whatever. If they enjoy the game that they just got into with, like, I don't know, 7, there's a good chance they might want to go back to the older games anyway. Yeah, you can skip every dragon in the game, that's okay. I wonder if you can skip rooms here. I'm not sure. We can try. <laughs> Wait a minute, Leon. Why is your logo kind of like their clan logo? I think I gave an artist a reference or references, and they kind of made it look more st similar to this one. Being drunk gives the heat faster. Okay. Wait, let me check just real quick. Boosts overall attack power. Maybe it does both. I'm not sure. I didn't try skipping. I'll do that soon. Well, we can do it in the next room, but... Kuza, baby. Oh shit, hell yeah. Nice, Kieran. I think 8 is a game which the knowledge of the other games will be partially necessary. Maybe, but I feel like you could argue about that with a lot of other games, honestly. Like, 2 starts off with Kiryu having flashbacks to stuff you don't know about. Like, they show you a bit of, like, what happened. A tiny bit. And you can reminisce, but... Same for 3. You start off that game, oh, we're in a beach, uh, like, orphanage. Wait, why did I go back here? Uh, we start in a beach orphanage. Um... Oh, what's this? The guy has a tattoo? Oh, wait, what? The guy's a badass? What happened? You know? And then there's Yakuza 4, which is probably, I would say, um... This this is one of, one of the games where you really don't need that much knowledge. 
Until, again, you get to curious parts. You're like, oh, wait, this guy's a badass. What's his story? Same thing for 5, by the way. Way more than 4. Uh, you start off as a character... Oh, Taichi Suzuki! Oh, wait, what? Kazuma Kiryu, what? What's going on here? And then they show you the flashback at the orphanage. And you're like, huh. I don't really care. <laughs> Yeah, 4 does tie in events from 1. It's like one cutscene, but yeah, that is true. God, I love this heat action. Guys, can I skip the Yakuza online? Absolutely, buddy. Do it. Do it. You know, you say that, but Yakuza 1 does have a retelling of... Uh, Yakuza Online has a retelling of all of the Yakuza 1, so... Technically... You're starting with Yakuza 1 there. And more. Taichi Suzuki, Kiryu, and Jorio. Yeah. <laughs> can I skip all RGG Studio games? Yeah, you can. Start with Binary Domain. <laughs> Talal in chat, my brother, guys. Let me get rid of this guy. Can I skip straight into Yakuza 1? Yeah, skip Yakuza 0. No one cares about that game. Can I just read the wiki pages? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go for it. Leon, yeah, skip anything you want, guys. That's the moral uh, lesson of today. Man, I forgot that Yakuza Zero or Yakuza had uh, the uh, comics. Did they, did anyone read all of those? I don't remember if I did. It's been a long time. Yeah, Sega had comics um, on their official website. They took them down now, by the way. Um, I talked about them in the iceberg. So now if you want them, you have to look at, you know, other websites that save them. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, a lot of the comic has just screenshots from the game, but with an art filter or something like that. Uh, those were made for Yakuza 6 to help people catch up if they don't want to play the other games. No, no, comics, not manga. Alright, Chainsaw Man time. Oh. 
Can we avoid the first shot? No. <laughs> I think someone on YouTube did it, though. This fight was the beginning of my hatred for Yakuza 4. Why? Didn't he punch in Yakuza 4 when he grabbed ya? Oh no. Akiyama? Using his hands? No way. Fuck this game. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, I, I can't see this. Oh, God. What am I seeing? Oh, no. I love how they actually replaced it with new animations in 5. <laughs> Man, this is a cool quick time event. I love it. Oh, now they're teaching me about it, because I missed the first one. Hell yeah. His head movement always cracks me up. He's doing the hyper cat gem. <laughs> the hyper cat gem. The hyper jammies. Yeah, look at the hyper cat gem. Same movement. No, don't skip cutscenes. I'm sorry, buddy. We have an encounter. Okay, I think um, we we go to the cabaret or the coast's club or whatever, and then we come back here, and then we go to Minami. Oh no, same guy is here. Can I ask a question, Leon? What's your question, buddy? Yeah, I'm sorry about the cutscenes, guys, but I just... I want to make sure I don't stream for, like... Over eight hours. Or over seven hours. Do you think we'll get a demo for Gaiden? I feel like if we were gonna get one, they would have announced one by this point. Like, at most, a week before release, but... No. <laughs> Peak Akiyama gameplay. Is the superpowers... Um uh, well in Ishin if you're like if you're leveled enough and you have equipment you don't need the cards. I'm pretty sure at some point you can start almost one shotting enemies in Ishin without the use of cards. 
Now, it depends. Like, when you say if you don't use cards, does that include not using the stats they give you? Or is it just the effects, like the, you know, you know the fireballs? Am I the only one who feels bad for Og Ogita in 5? I don't know. Let's see what chat thinks. They're gonna do the Ishin thing again and release a Gaiden demo the day before the game drops. I think even with Ishin, they announced it like a week or like before release date. And now we're less than a week away. I think he was right for being mad at Park, but not to the point of killing her. Yeah. That sums it up. Mm. Yo, man of progress. Hmm. I think with Ishin, people just don't like the fireball shooting in general. That's like the number one complaint, I think, about it. Nice, Kula. Hey, Leon, do you do your own thumbnails? Yes. Everything on the channel, I do by myself. Sometimes, occasionally, like this is very rare, uh, there was an Asian video that I had someone else do, and I paid them for that. And there was a time or two, I think it was one time that comes at the top of my head right now, I commissioned a thumbnail. Uh, that was for the uh, Yakuza 6 and 7 video. Otherwise, though, normally, yeah, I do everything on my own. I love this scene. Akiyama casually ignoring the fact that Yasuko murdered a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah, Subsio, they did my uh, Yakuza 6 and 7 thumbnail. Would you recommend any particular artist for thumbnail commissions? Looking to get a thumbnail done for a video I'm doing. Is it Yakuza themed? If it's Yakuza themed, I recommend Subsio, the one Arga mentioned. They do really good work. Otherwise, honestly... You know what I did with thumbnails, like, my journey on YouTube? Every time I want to do something specific... Um, I look it up on YouTube. And... Bit by bit, I learned how to do stuff. That's not just with image um, editing, also with video ed editing. I use GIMP for uh, image stuff. And uh, it's free, so. <laughs> Akiyama likes big noses. Any noses in chat? Man, there was one time I commissioned... How much was it? Like a 5 or $10? Uh, thumbnail? And honestly, I mean, I, sh I shouldn't have expected anything else. I did show the thumbnail on the stream once. And, uh... <laughs> um... Let's just say I didn't use the thumbnail. 
I, I gave the guy his money. I mean, he did, he did his work, but, uh, you know. Uh, that was a commission for the uh, iceberg th uh, video thumbnail. And then I just decided to do it by myself. Is this one Hana dips from the game? Yes. I think for most people, Gaiden is coming out on November 8th. 9 is for Japan, from what people told me. And I'm not sure about the Xbox. Yasuko is better than Yumi, but that's a low bar. True. And then Hana destroys both of them. How do you do the fast turn? R1 and uh, left or right. Sometimes it doesn't work for me too, but... Alright, time to finish Akiyama's part. <laughs> Who has the shortest part um, in the speed run? Is it Kiryu? I'm assuming it's Kiryu. Yeah, <laughs> Yasuko is definitely not better than Yumi. What the fuck? Oh, listen to this guy go. They're dying from cringe. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. I want to do something specific. God damn it. Okay, never mind. What was that about smashing my balls like grapes? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> hey yo, where's the sound? No sound? Uh, I'm not sure, Virgil. Uh, 
There we go. Oh. I couldn't keep that up. We did it! Oh, yeah, yeah. Fifteen dollars, no way. <laughs> Part one complete, and now for peak. Okay, I think I'm gonna have you guys watch this. I'll be right back. いらっしゃい。お邪魔すんで。いや、それにしても暑いな。まだ4月やっちゅうのに何やねんな、この暑さは。ええ、何や、30度もあるらしいわ。ほんま、この国がぶっ壊れとんのとちゃうか。この国っ
Uh, and I really like RE4 Remake as well. I have issues with the remake, but um, overall I really like it. <laughs> no, how can he do that? Saijima jogs like he shit his pants. <laughs> hey, come on. Come on. OGRE4 ah, hi. is better balanced but gameplay-wise. Yeah, I agree with that, I think. God, the gameplay and remake can be so fucking frustrating sometimes. Um... I have my gripes again with the remake of RE4. Like, grenades, not like... They're, they're, they're just not the same. Like, why do we have two um, frag grenades? Just put one. And then the other, you know... Either make it, uh, you know, the same incendiary one, or make a new one. Because um, a lot of the time, the small grenades just feel useless. Like, sometimes... They don't kill Ganada sometimes. It's like, really? Yeah, and then there's, like, mob sections. Holy shit. The shotguns also don't feel the same. Describe what remake was better than the original. Usually people will tell you Resident Evil 1 remake. That's, like, the one game. There's rarely any others. RE2 Remake is debatable. People, like, a lot of people love it. But I also don't think it's a perfect remake. <laughs> what game do you think is winning game of the year? I have no idea. There's a lot of bangers this year. Now let's have that hoe. Wait, there was a Zelda game this year? Oh yeah, I think there was. I feel like it just kind of faded away so quickly. Yeah, I feel like Baldur's Gate 3 is gonna sweep. And I didn't play that game. But like, the internet went crazy for it. Yo, this game has sex, holy shit. Just kidding, Baldur's Gate fans, but... <laughs> um... Fading away As days go by Everything has changed Nobody knows me Remembers me anymore Oh shit Saito Here we go, here we go Leon, do you prefer OG RE4 or Remake? I like both I think both have good things about them that separate them. Like the atmosphere, the exploration and all that, I think I like uh, remakes more. Gameplay, the, the original for sure. Like it just feels way better balanced than the original. And remake, it's like they want to fucking piss you off, it's so annoying.
I wonder if a Yakuza game will ever win Game of the Year. Man, that's gonna be huge. Like, you know, for RGG Studio especially. To have that much recognition. Uh, this is on hard. Oh, by the way, wait, I, I think I missed it, Aline, but he said there was a skip for Tanimura. What was it again? My bad, my bad. Missed it. <laughs> Once the dialogue starts, you disconnect the controller, wait like three seconds. I'll tap out of the game, plug the controller back in, and get back to the game. You can skip dialogue. What? No way. Holy sh- Okay, I gotta do that. Okay, disconnecting controller. Um, I'll tap, go back in. Okay, I think I got it. I hope I remember it. Oh, He's dead. He's dead. What 2024 game do you think will beat LAD 8? I don't know. There could be unannounced games we don't know about. Okay, this quick time event right here, watch this shit. Peak. Peak, I tell you, peak. Oh. As much as I love Final Fantasy VII, the remake better not win Game of the Year. That reminds me of the argument, like, you know, um, remakes should not win Game of the Year. But... The remakes still have the same amount of work as other games put into them. Um, so I don't see why they shouldn't. And uh, like some remakes change a lot of stuff too, so... Or they add stuff. If you... I, I don't know, I, I feel like if you think remakes should not win Game of the Year, then... Any game that takes inspiration from other games should not win Game of the Year. Yeah, remaster should not be, like, nominated. Remakes, on the other hand. And when I say remakes, I don't mean The Last of Us 1 remake, because that's, that's not a remake. Or uh, Like a Dragon Asian, because that's also not a remake. Resident Evil 4 remake is a remake. Um, that's what I mean when I say remakes. Oh god. The sniper. Hype! This is everybody's favorite part of Saijima's section. Let me get rid of the grabber guy. This is like one of the few parts heavily impacted by the remaster. It's insane. Like, I think the sniper shoots twice as much. And he's also quicker to shoot. What's today's lunch, Leon? I had a chicken wrap earlier. What did chat have for lunch? Three sixty no scope, Saijima. Let's go, baby. Okay, I'm gonna just. Oh no. No, we don't. There we go. 
Get him, Hamazaki. Soup. Sushi. Fish. Oh man, the other day, I think like a week ago now, or two weeks ago, I tried rice balls. Let's go. Onigiri. It was so fucking good. That was my first time too. I think I got some that are stuffed with tuna and salmon. High recommend. High recommend. It was kind of expensive, but it was worth it. it like, it, it tasted really good. I think Baldur's Gate 3 might win this year. But Starfield might get it. I don't know, I love Starfield, but um, it's like, you know, another Bethesda game. I'm actually surprised at the amount of people that are bad. Whoa, whoa. Is it, was that Hamazaki Shadow? I think it was. I'm kind of surprised at the people that expected for Starfield to be different than it is. I mean, yeah, it could have had better quality of life stuff, I'll agree with that. But it's a fucking Bethesda game. <laughs> Like, the game itself is gonna be bland, but the mods are gonna carry that game. And for the mods, you have to wait like a year or something. Yeah, Starfield is like Fallout or Skyrim in space. Yeah, fair enough, uh, Scorpel. I played something like Fallout as well, but that definitely didn't hit the same as Skyrim for me. I want Elder Scrolls 6. Oh, don't worry, buddy. Just wait seven more years. Dero, 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 dero. Rebellion's hype. Saito, the bitch. A, a guy tried to convince me Starfield was gonna win the game of the year, and he paid $100 for it a week. Wait. Oh, this is so fucking cool. Yeah. Destroyed. Destroyed. Tiger and Dragon. Uh... Avatar Frontiers? No, I don't think I'm gonna try that. Speaking of Avatar, is anyone looking forward to the live-action adaptation? Avatar, the... What was it again? The Airbender? I watched all of it earlier this year. I was in middle school when I played Skyrim for the first time, and now I'm in my second year of college. Oh, hell yeah. Don't worry, guys, it's gone. <laughs> the last airbender, thank you. Favorite game from the remastered collection might be this one. Overall. This one and then three and then five. What about chat? Rate just the remastered ones. 
Sage a praying for an early copy of Yakuza 8. Smile venomously. Are we all smiling venomously? You might be smiling, but it might not be venomously. Now make it venomously. 543 mm boss fight ever, holy shit. They should have given him like one more health bar. Yeah, using head press against them would have been funny. I think by the time you make it to this fight on a fresh playthrough, you would have most of the important stuff. I mean moves for, you know. The way they introduced Akiyama and forgot to be the coolest shit ever. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Does Yakuza guy then have an 8 demo? Yes, you have to finish the game first, apparently. Chapter 3, the 25-year vacuum. Okay, we need sake right now. So I'm gonna go get that. Which Yakuza character should get their own spin-off? Um, a lot of the time people say Akiyama, but I don't know. If we're talking about Gaiden games, then I feel like you could do pretty much anyone. Maybe, um... Maybe they could do a Gaiden for a dead character. But I feel like that would end on such a weird note. Mm. Kashiwagi Gaiden. Jimmy Low Gaiden. Do you guys think Jimmy was a great fighter? Well, I mean, <laughs> if he was, I think he would still be alive, but uh, alas. Or maybe he just faced the wrath of Cutscene Gun. We know several characters that knew how to fight, but they just, uh, you know, they faced the wrath of Cutscene Gun. Morinaga Gaiden. I would actually love that. Did I give him something else? Mm. Yo, Steph. I don't know, maybe I'm not in a very creative mood right now, but I don't know who they would give a guidance to, honestly. <sighs> Taichi Gaiden. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fuma and Joji. Mm. 
Tani Mura Gaiden, the man who left Kamurocho. <laughs> well, maybe. What game do you think has the least important story to the franchise? Probably this game, actually. Uh, but, but like, but then again, it's like I, I don't know. Like, least important in which regard, you know? This game did did introduce Akiyama, Tenimura, and Saijima, so in in a way, it is important. But hmm. Yakuza 2. Oh, are we counting Yakuza 0? If we are, then yeah, that game, because it's a prequel. Um, even if we didn't have that game, I think uh, we would be fine. Let me take that. Oh, the dodge. 3. 3! No way! Oh my... Saijima, work on your aim, dammit. Yeah, Tommy is in three. Come on, guys. Get with the times. Three is literally the orphanage. <laughs> well, I don't know. Three does have... I mean, a good chunk of it is the orphanage. But it also does have the Toja clan. Um, a lot of stuff happened with Daigo. Well, I say a lot of stuff, but I mean, you know, he gets shot and all that. Uh, Majum is also involved. Hmm. Hmm. Zero made Majima a weirdo? People usually talk about. Kiwami won with that. I'm actually curious why you're saying that. Compared to OG1, where he's a villain. I would still say Kiwami 1 and not 0. Um, this is on hard. 0 kind of... I don't know. Just away from all of the act he constantly puts up. Uh, we actually get to see a glimpse of his life. For real this time, no cap. Majima was always a weirdo, to be fair. Kiwami 1 just took it an extra step. Yeah, I can get behind that. Um... What's the best story arc in any Yakuza game? Do you really want to know? It's not a Yakuza game. It's Judgment. Everything in Judgment. I don't know. Hmm. Can he just actually skip? Oh, you can. Oh, wait, no, we can't. 
<laughs> How big of a deal was Yakuza 4 when it came out for you? Pretty big. Like, playing as new characters in this game was <clears throat> unimaginable for me. And I thought they did it really well. Like, everyone was so fun to play as. Majima's weirdness isn't helped by the fact that he switches between wacky eye patch man and serious eye patch man every game. I don't think that's the fault of those games per se. Like, um, how do I say this? Uh, like he was at his <coughs> wackiest, I guess, in Yakuza One. Um, or you could even say his most villainous in one. And then in two, he's just like best friends. And then three, it's like a mix of both. And then four, um, I think it's because of Saijima's involvement, really, that he kind of just went, uh, uh, what did they say? All uh, gloomy. I think the best way to go was here? I'm not sure. Oh, right, 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 right. I think I look at it this way. Before we got games like Yakuza 3... No, no, wait, wait, wait. Before we got games like... I guess you can say starting Yakuza 4. We never knew if Majima was normally like that. Like in 1 and 2. Or if it was an act. Uh, it's something that you could just... Like, you know interpret on your own like was he like that I, honestly it's it's something you wouldn't even think about because like in one and two you always see him like that there's an there's a small exception in one at the shangula scene where he does get a little serious and that's about it but i feel like thanks to that there have been hints always that uh it's just an act i don't think it's necessarily something new that they added Yeah, and then in 4, there was the flashback where he's, you know. Majima was just starving, Kiwami 1. You're not you when you're hungry, true? <laughs> yeah, I think they just expanded on ideas as they went on. <sighs> Close the door, dude. <laughs> Rude. Close the fucking door. Right, we need to go east now. Yeah, the way his face is just stuck like that. I wonder if the whole connection to Saijima was always planned or literally just added in 4. No, n knowing Yokoyama, I think it was just added in 4. Sky Oblivion, yeah. I want to play that too. Yo, thank you for that 10. 
Isaiah, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Imagine people only getting into the series for the memes. I feel like that's kind of overhated. Um, look at how many people got into Yakuza because, I mean, sorry, Resident Evil because of Lady D. And then they probably stayed for the, you know, for the rest of the trip. And I think that's fine. I think people underestimate the impact of memes. When I played 4, I remembered Saijima's tiny cameo from Zero. Y you know, that's always been interesting to me. For someone who started with Yakuza 0, how did it feel for you to play as the guy in the Majima flashback? I feel like it's kind of cool. <laughs> Memes made Metal Gear Rising explode in popularity, that is true as well. It felt awesome, felt amazing, loved it. Oh, hell yeah. I forgot about Saijima after Zero, I don't blame you. <laughs> I think it's like one cutscene he shows up in. Thank you, thank you, Isaiah, thank you. Hmm. We have to accept the fact that Majima was retroactively written to the rewritten to the point where a lot of his actions just don't add up. That is true. That is very true. I feel like starting Yakuza 5, they wanted to make Majima into something more. Yakuza 5. Because that's the game where you fight him and he's like, Oh, I was holding back when you fought me in Yakuza 4. And then guess what? After Yakuza 5, Yakuza 0 came along. So... Okay, guys, want to see something epic? Watch this. Look at the florist's face. I have millions, by the way. <laughs> My man goes through the five stages of depression. I'd argue 3 is where they change this character. I see, fair enough. Mm -hmm. To me, he felt a lot like 2 in 3. Like he's a supporting character who helps kill you out. Um, and then from 3 onwards, he has almost no interaction with Kiryu. The speech. Oath of Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. no. Majima feels a bit misused in 5. I agree with that. Like, the whole marriage thing is such an ass pull. <laughs> like, oh, sir, how do we tie Majima into this game? Oh, uh, we're introducing a new female character in this game. Let's just say he, like... They were married. Oh, great idea, sir. Let's push that out.
Top tier animation right here. The idea of Majima even attempting marriage is probably out of the only action of his that feels out of character. Yeah, I, I like I, I understand that too. Yeah, we're gonna play as the cop after this. The Majima saga bothers me too. It means he still held on to that one crush after 17 years. Hmm, I don't know. I didn't see it that way. I just looked at it as, oh shit. Why is she here? And then when he found out about the watch, he fixed it and that's really it. Um, looking at her probably just reminded her, uh, reminded him of all the trauma that he went through in that game. And before that game. The forest fucking tutorial right here. Or, well, not tutorial, but... I think Park was 18 when she got married to him. I'm not sure. And he was 21. Is the Majima Saga canon? Yes. Yes, it is. Does anyone love the minigame for Sadachi? What is it even called? Fighter Maker? I don't know. Oh, shit. Cops! Cops! It begins. Time to dodge them. I didn't even come back here after this <coughs> part. I don't blame you. The only time I did that minigame was on the PlayStation 3, so that tells you how long ago that was. Must have been like... 11 years ago at this point? And I used, uh... The way I kind of made that minigame more easy to stomach is, uh... Using the... PlayStation menu, because like it freezes the game. So whenever I get that quick quick time event to instruct the the student, I uh, use the PlayStation menu. But he can't do that here. So yikers! Should I be max level in all for all characters in the of 5? No, you don't need to be. You really don't need that. Just remember to stock up on heals at all times. Yeah, I'm so glad for the taxi feature in 7. It's so good. Assassin, yeah. Man, look at all this. What do you even call this? They took the games off of PlayStation Plus? So, wait, even though you claim the games, they're just not available now?
How many times have you, have you played this shit? I lost count. I lost count. So... You want me one and two? What? No way. Isn't that illegal? Damn. You know, I don't want to be that guy, but... You know how sometimes... Well, not sometimes. But with Gaiden, people are like, Oh, shut the fuck up about physical releases. No one cares. Well, there's a reason you should care. <laughs> right there. Like, how? Like, how did they get away with that? But wait, did I... I just want to make sure I understood you right. Is that actually the case? Wait, he's talking about PS Plus Extra, whatever. It's different from the the games you get to keep with PS Plus Essential. What the fuck? That sounds so complicated. Nice, Sparks. <laughs> Guys, we finally made it! Finally! After like, two hours of navigation around the cups. They sold 345 for a very low price after removing them from PS Plus. Huh. Okay, we have to go back to it again. Uh... Oh, you guys... Actually, I could use a break, so you guys watch this. Saijima-san 25年ですよね。いくらおやじのためとはいえ、25年もの時間たった一人無所にいて、それで後悔はないんですか<笑> それで迷ってんねやろ。そんな俺の国道は仁義のためにあるんや。さえしまさん。25年前もし俺があの場から逃げ出しとったら、そんな仁義に反したことした自分が許せんようになって、今よりもっと後悔しているはずや。ひとちゃん。腹くくれ。Did he say it? Did he say it? <laughs> <sighs> Head to the Millennium Tower.
Can do. <laughs> uh. Don't mess with us Yakuza fans. We have a total of five jokes. And we laugh at them for years. Joke number one, ten years in the joint. Joke number two, balls out. Joke number three, rubber bullets. <laughs> Who wants to finish the other two? <laughs> Dummy done. Look at all the memes in chat. <laughs> I like how the Sawa Sensei joke actually kind of faded away compared to the other memes. It's still a meme, but, uh, you know. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do something controversial, okay? Do you guys think it still works? The, the chat, hold on, let me try. It's still frozen. God damn it. Why is it frozen? Yes, you can skip Yakuza on the score. It's fine. Uh, I meant on the screen. It's been broken for a few days. What does the 10 years in the joint meme even mean? I don't get the joke. I don't think I'm the best person to explain that, actually. Maybe chat can do that. Is that? Wait. Wait, do you guys see that? Wait, 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 wait. I don't know if I can see it now, but... There was something there, floating. What's the name of the artist you mentioned earlier? Subcio. S-U-B-C-I-O. <clears throat> okay, do you guys like Saijima noises? There's gonna be a lot of them now. Yeah, it looked like a floating street light, right? I'm glad it wasn't just me. <laughs> Sky Street.
Yeah, do you guys like this size of my ASMR? You're welcome. Subscribe for more content like this. It is currently 5 a.m. Yeah, we have the same time zone. Nice. Wait, holy shit, 5 a.m.? No way. <laughs> oh, man. Man. It's uh, 5 a.m. Just a little longer, chat. Just a little longer. Oh, don't worry. I uh, drank some water before uh, uh, the last break. Yeah, time, uh, the time zone, uh, it shifts every, uh, god, I don't know how long even, but yeah, the, the time zones are switched, now we have a two hour difference. What would you think of the, if they randomized boss attack voices? Oh, I mean, might be cool. I wish Saijima was more popular. I feel like, usually, if a franchise has a flamboyant, kind of loud character, they're the most popular. Whoa, <laughs> Saijima, what are you doing? Get out of there! Um, and Saijima is not, you know, either of those. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, uh, that was very bold of Saejima. Guys, fireproof. Leon, where's your face? It's, it's over here. Don't you see me? Is Majima still too glowing? Okay, maybe it was just that weird view, I don't know. RGB tattoo. Yeah, we can do that. Here, is this a good enough replacement? Is he gonna do? Up oh, there we go. There we go. The spin. Yeah. 
Are we gonna get a quick time event? I feel like it bugs in the remaster. On PS3 it almost always happens. Yeah, I can block the spin. I think it's an ability. Uh, you block blades, basically. Once you have it, you can just block it. Another alternative, if you don't have the block uh, blades ability, uh, do a dodge away from him right when he um, lands on you. That way you take like one slash, and then you do it again. There's a Baba on my... S oh, shit. I wonder if the skip works here, too. Hold on, let me try. So, they said disconnect. Alt-tab. Go back in. Can plug it again. And then he can skip, apparently. Apparently. Let's see now. Maybe it doesn't work here. Well, he can kind of skip this one anyway, so... Yeah, that's spoiler in Gakuza 3. Wait, did I say Yakuza 3? Yakuza 0. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I can't think. I saw the 3 in Alex's message and I was like, wait, oh yeah. 3. 3, yeah. 3. <laughs> Why did Majima lose to them here? Is he stupid? Masayoshi Tanimura, aka the goat. The goat. The Kamurocho Parasite. get the hype for this character i mean i feel like when people talk about like they don't say he's the best but he's a good character in my opinion um he is directly involved in the story of this game and he has a pretty neat moveset he plays way 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 better than someone like shinata Man, it's a shame with Shinara as well. Like, there's so many just missed opportunities with Shinara. Like, he's given a bunch of moves that are kind of useless and you never really get to use. And when you use them, they just backfire. Might be a controversial opinion, but I like him more than Yagami. Damn! I don't know, I feel like Yagami is kind of bland, honestly. Not to say I think, like, he sucks or anything, but... I do think... Uh, I don't know. He, like, not completely just... Uh, without personality or bland, but like, he, he is a little bland. A little. Especially if we talk about Sawa-sensei. 
Sawa Sensei meme about to be revived now. Yeah, like I think if it was just Yagami without, you know, Kaito, Higashi, or Segura, he would still be, uh, you know, decent. But I definitely feel like uh, the Judgment games are, you know, the, the the group makes that game. All of them. I feel like Yagami suffers from them trying to make him look too perfect. Yeah, no, no, I think I, I think I get you. I get you. Um, a lot of the time... Well... I don't know how else to say it, but it does feel like he's always, like, you know... In the know, and like... Everyone else is wrong. <laughs> nice opinion, but Sawa Sensei. <laughs> I agree, he was more interesting when the story re revolved directly around him in the first game. Yeah. And honestly, even then, even in his own story, he was determined. But I think that's about the only quality about him. Like, I don't know. He doesn't really stand out. And that's not to say, you know, every single character needs, like, something very loud about them that needs to stand out, but... I think, you know, just going back to the group thing again. The group as a whole. Make judgment into what it is. Look at that heat action. That is one of the reasons why Tiny Mura is so bug. Where's your face? Bottom left. What do you think about the cutscene filter in 7 and Lost Judgment? There's a filter in 7? And Lost Judgment? Yeah, thank you. I, I worked quite a lot on this cosplay. Is Yagami a simp? <laughs> I th yeah, probably. Leon, will the playable Infinite Wealth demo be right when Gaiden releases? Yes, just beat the game, and then he should unlock it, according to what, you know, I heard. Okay, I know I said no cutscenes, but... We're about to witness um, a legendary one. <laughs> Here's another reason why people love Tanimura. We made it. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh. That is such a memeable cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure on Giphy there is a, a meme about that, right? There has to be. Ah. <laughs> no way there isn't. Yeah. 
There is. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, I cut cigarettes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We appreciate the support. Uh... Wait, what do I have with him? Okay. Yo, Carlos. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I think I think I took it a little too far keeping that this long. Okay, let me take that and we are back. <laughs> Leon, what are your thoughts on the Lost Judgment story? I like it, but I've had to choose between the two. No, th that's a common opinion. I also agree with that. I think I like the story of the first one more. Oh my god, hi guys, hi, hi. It's been a while. Where's Tamiya? In chat. Yo, thank you for the Hanya tier table. Thank you, thank you. I uh, hope you enjoy the Saijimus there. <laughs> and the Tamiya emote. And everything else. I just noticed Nishida. <laughs> Do you think we'll get a judgment three? Maybe. Maybe. I know that there's been trouble with the agency again. <laughs> like, this time, I think it was like a sexual assault allegation or something like that and the uh, the the actor for Yagami uh, Kimura uh, did not leave the agency or like uh, you know do anything about it so you know We all know that Japan take their scandals very, very, very seriously. And there's a chance maybe Yagami is not gonna come back because of that. Or maybe they just put the old Yagami face. Oh, wait. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if they changed this face. I mean, I feel like Tiny Mura worked really, we uh, really well. They delist the Judgment games. Man, imagine that. That pretty much did happen with the uh, original Judgments, by the way. They took it um, off of shelves uh, to replace uh, what's his name, Hamura. That was before the game came out in um, in English. The join button on mobile. It should be there on mobile. I think we had someone else saying that before. I don't know what's wrong. One of my favorite things about Tanimura is the uh, rush combo finisher heat actions. They're so good. Five different ones, and they all have extensions, except the last one. 
Leon, you planning to add new tiers to subs or just two tiers forever? The problem is, I don't have anything more to offer. I don't see why I should add more tiers. I used to have three, I think. But then I was like, why do I even have three? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We should get your address. Oh no. What are you gonna do with my address? If you really want to know my address, easy. Just call Sniper Wolf. She'll do the job. Just like that. Blakuza 3, Grabkuza 4, Yumikuza 5. Family Kuza 6. <laughs> nice. Very nice. I mean, what's scary is your address and everyone's... Oh, shit. <laughs> everyone's address is easily accessible. I mean, yeah. Especially given that a lot of us, like... I I'm gonna sound like a boomer, but a lot of us nowadays just, like, put all of our info on, on the internet. And we don't think about it. So, yeah, no wonder it's easy to find info on anyone. What do you think is the most brutal heat action in the entire series? There was one in seven, surprisingly. Uh, I think it was with the chef job. Where you uh, do the face. Uh, great on like... What was it again? Something sharp. That's one. I can't remember anything else right now. The cheese grater. Yeah. Oil time! Oh, yeah, dude. I think you can skip them if you just like. Let me try. Yeah, sick. Mm, I'll really have a damn. Best taunt. Yeah, let's see. I don't know, Cyber. It could be a lot of people. Boys.
Dude, the fucking guy has a machine gun. And he's terrified. Ay, 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 ay. John Cena for Yagami. I'm done for that. What would be funnier with Tiny Morris Taunt is if he shot... If a, if a dead bird fell from the sky. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. Imagine. One in a hundred chance. I wouldn't mind that at all. Oh! God, this is... vicious. I like it. Yeah, what if Jimmy replaces Yagami? Jimmy! Oh no. Danny Trejo, I don't think John Cena is too far from that. I know. And that thought is so exciting to me. Like, man. <laughs> Shibata, there he go. Oh, Arai! I think we're seeing him for the first time, since we're skipping everything. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait. No, I think we saw him before. Shibata, the perpetrator. John Cena can speak other languages. Oh, hell yeah. He would do the Chinese dub himself. How would the language work if John Cena's in Yakuza? Same way as they're doing Danny. Uh, someone else is dubbing him in Japanese. But in English, I'm pretty sure he's going to be the one to voice himself. Lauma. Lauma. Lama. No, I had no idea, Cyber. Yasuko has zero charm. How is she supposed to be a femme fatale? Well, I mean... Look at her! Look! Femme fatale things. You know? You know, I'm sure you know. You know, right? I think the only reason Akiyama fell in love with her is because she looks like his ex-girlfriend. Which is kind of funny, because I'm pretty sure they just copied her model. <laughs> like... That's like saying... God, I'm trying to think. Yo, now... Here is the keeper. Ooh. 
It is actually impossible to get through four without justifiably roasting Yasko. <laughs> Leon, use your RGGO knowledge. Who is that chick? Which one? Oh, this is like an obligatory sub-story, I think. Have you perhaps heard about this thing called Revelations? The thing they should bring back? Oh, she is following me, okay. Wait a minute. Are you supposed to do it? Okay, yeah. Okay. I was wondering if there's a skip. Mm, then they kind of bring them back for Ishin. I mean... Bringing back is a stretch for Ishin because, well, it's originally, like... When was it released? 2013? And then after that, Zero also had it. Kinda. And then yeah, never again. Okay, Leon, I got a serious question. Did Kiryu have the right to take Haruto before fighting Arkiyama in 6? I mean... Yeah. This is one of those things where it's like... Uh, yeah. I don't know, it's not up to me to decide, uh, I feel like. It was Kiryu's decision, and he had his reasons. Um, I don't think everything in, like, stories has to be like, Oh, do I, like, agree with this or do I not agree with this? You know? By the way, same concept with stuff that's like morally gray. If you were to disagree or like, I don't know, argue about everything that you don't like in a game. I feel like you're just not gonna enjoy it. Gray zones. <laughs> it's kinda like with even characters like Akiyama or even Tanimura. They do stuff that is, uh, that are, you know, morally gray. But, you know, we don't find people talking about it much because, I mean, it's not highlighted much. Um, if you, like, if you happen to see it in, like, the five seconds it shows up, then sure, we can talk about it, but, like, you know. I think I remember people giving shit to Akiyama for, like, the weird tests he does in 5. I think there was, like, a... What was it? Was it, like, a, a mother? And he's like, oh, work in cabaret or something like that. I don't remember. Something like that. And I think I saw people... Who didn't like that. And, you know, fair enough. Um, not approving of characters' actions in a game is fine. But does that mean that character must not do it? No. Um, you know, there should be morally gray characters in games. Uh, there should be stuff we don't agree with. Because at the end of the day, well... If a game story consists of stuff we agree with and nothing else, then what's the fucking point? Huh? Same thing with Tiny Mura, by the way. I think he, like, huh? takes hush money for a brothel that brings in foreign women who have no place to go, something like that. 
And that's something they don't highlight. But it is a fact. Um, now, I don't remember where I heard this. But I think I heard that he used he uses the money for the kids at Little Asia. But that's also like, you know, he's... Like, take, doing something he shouldn't do. To do good, which... You know, whether that's something okay or not is up for debate, but... Uh, um, I, I just, I just personally love that there is, uh, all these morally gray stuff in Yakuza. And in some instances, like, you know, with Akiyama and Tanimura, they're not stuff that they focus on, but they are there. And I like that they are there. Is Shinada in the gray area too? I can't think of a reason. I don't think so. Wait, wrong place, I think. <laughs> Shinada owes me a lot of money, so he is. <laughs> Fair enough. Baba would say Shinada is morally gray after he started that fight. True. Money. What about Ichiban? I would agree. I would argue he also is. But th then again, like Muhammad said, a lot of this series is just morally gray. Um, something that comes up with the Akaza 7 is, you know, the soap land. And I feel like something that gets misunderstood a lot is also the soap land. Um, like, how do I say this? Okay, let me ask you guys this. Do you think 7 glorifies or tries to... Uh, Justify Nonomiya? If you don't remember what or who Nonomiya is, uh, the soap land owner, where you see him like being an asshole to his workers, and then um, eventually the game goes, oh, like, you know, he might be an asshole, but uh, he's looking out for all the. Uh, Sh like the the girls he has or whatever. I would say treads the line, because yeah, like at first, the first reaction Ichiban's gang has when they meet the guy and they see how he talks, they're like, you know what, Ichiban, let's find another job. <laughs> okay, let me try the glitch here. Okay, so we do this. We all tab. Let me wait a little bit. One, two, three. I think it condemns him fairly well, but treats him like a real human. Right. Yeah, fair enough. I don't think I can skip. So wait, unplug, alt tab, go back in, plug in. Disconnect. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, so... Disconnect. Okay, we wait a little bit. Alt-Tab. Plug the controller back in. Get back to the game, and then you can start... I think I'm... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I'm gonna do it one more time. If it doesn't work, whatever. Wait, am I skipping it? Or did I... <laughs> what the hell happened? I think the controller actually has to connect. Oh. Okay, let's try this now. All tab. I think I should have waited a bit. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna sit through it, I don't mind. I'm gonna restart and do it again. Got mm -hmm. Saragi forgot the lines, yeah. <laughs> uh Tani Murasan, you said you wanted to know about your father. Tell us about his father. Okay, chat. What do we know about Tani Mora's father? Come on. Why don't you use cheats? Like what? Oh, wait. I think... There's a thing that I have with the silent patch. The game... Yeah, what? Yakuza 3 and 4 are running? No way. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like, the games don't truly stop running until you go to Steam and force them to stop. I think it's a silent patch side effect. He, uh... <laughs> yeah, he, uh... He's Tiny Mora's dad. Okay, what is Tiny Mora's dad's name? What Tiny Mora? Or... Yeah. What is the second name? Taigi. Oh, someone knows. Someone knows. Robocop. <laughs> John Tanimura. Oh my god. Look at chat. Little trolls. Hello, can I skip? There we go. No, not new game. Is there autosave? Oh shit! Oh god, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we have a save close, so we can just do that, I don't mind, but... Were we in chapter 2? I think we were in chapter 2, right? The perpetrator, I'm pretty sure. I'm so glad I save this many times. <laughs> the perpetrator. Okay. Okay. Oh, perfect. Holy. Okay. Our level is a little less, but that's fine. Whew. Saved. Saved. <laughs> so wait. Yakuza 3 has autosave, but not this game? Can you not enable that? Oh, it's okay. Now you gotta restart from the beginning with zero. No, 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 I'm good. <laughs> I thought Yakuza 3 had autosave. Doesn't it? Oh, hmm. Oh, wait, maybe I'm thinking of Kiwami. I'm not sure anymore. Okay, listen close, chat. This is gonna be a very important info. Tomorrow is five only. Five is fucking long, even if you play a new game plus, so.私が関係していたことは突き止めていました。<笑> 最島がどうやって襲撃してくるかも知っていた。防弾チョッキか。ま、そんなところです。私は
柴田さんは30歳若い二人が縦割りの組織で成り上がるにはそうする必要があったんですあんたは事件の後まんまと上野清和会の若頭に就任柴田も同場会で直系へと昇格したあんたたちの計画が成功したというわけかええまあそうなりますやけにあっさり話すんだなもうあれから25年が経ちます今この事実が警察に伝わったところで私が罪に問われることはない確かにあんたの罪はもう時効だだが極道社会ではそれは通じないだろうだからあんたは安子さんを使って柴田組の関係者を殺させ洗いに指示してしまったことはそういうことか。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、谷村さんは25年前の事件の裏に、私と柴田が突き止めた。サワー先生、はい。私は、ね、あなたが発見してしまったんです。ヤガミさん、サワー先生、とてもサンボーです。あなたのお父さんは事件の捜査をしていたんです。あなたのお父さんは事件の捜査をしていたんです。あなたのお父さんは事件の捜査をしていたんです。Every time I think about how five just doesn't let you create a premium save, like I, I fuck it, I want to vomit.、Uh, but I should one day play that game,、uh, get everyone maxed in a story run, and then, you know, have that save ready. Yagami crying on the soundboard. Yeah, I don't know if there's a. Like, I don't know if it's even possible to make a mod for that, but that would be so good. Okay, sleep well, Alin. Mm -hmm. Who was it then? Who murdered my dad? Who was it? Tell me about that. Piece of shit scumbag. <laughs> the Kahan Gang. Yagami, I need your help. Uh oh. Alright. Time to get briefcase in. Is this on Legend? Wait. I didn't check. It doesn't say here. This might be on Legend. And that's fine. Wait, can you. I, th I think you can skip. Let's see. What if we don't even have to do that? Watch. We need to make a Yakuza game where every revelation is just a backflip. Like for Haruka and 5. Hope Gaiden's combat will be better than 60 Kwami 2. Hopefully. Okay, so we could skip the first phase. This has to be on Legend, I'm taking a lot of damage. Why do you only have 5 heat bars? Um, I. Screwed my game over. And we had to reload, so. The game has an autosave. I used another、uh, playthrough save. Sleep well, Cyber. <laughs> Is it worth it to buy Yakuza 8 now or wait until it's on sale? It's not gonna be on sale until like a year from now, probably. So it's up to you. The game will have content. It will.
How do you know? Yokoyama told me. So trust me, bro. Yeah, this has to be a legend. Mm, legend New Game Plus. Yeah, I don't mind Legend, really. But that's fine, thank you for offering. Can we delete the Brass Knuckles moveset? <laughs> like, just get it out of existence. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no way this is not Legend. Isn't it crazy that stuff we haven't seen from Infinite Wealth seems even more crazy than any of the... Wait, what do you mean? There's a strong running enemy like Do you want me to zero and guy then oh, yeah I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> you can stand still and heal. Yeah, the most viable way to heal in this game. Every game is becoming way too expensive. You know why? Uh, production value. Everyone wants, like, games where you can see every pore on the skin. Everyone wants to see sweat come out of those pores. Everyone wants hair physics. And, uh, you know, 4K, 200 FPS. And then smooth animations in a big world filled with content in today's graphics. That costs a lot of money. Yo, Manic. Oh, hell yeah, look at the bunk! Mm. Yeah, just go outside if you want graphics. Boom, got him. God, this, like, they deal so much damage here. time now games aren't even well optimized yeah well when you have games with a lot more depth to them I imagine like it's really hard to um, make sure everything is like flawless because like even games like Baldur's Gate 3 was in early access for like three years Same, Hamid. Yeah, thankfully the whole graphics craze kind of died down compared to before. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm probably gonna buy the Ultimate Edition as well. I mean, I feel like 
I kind of have to. I'm, I'm a content creator. And I'm sure, you know, 8 is going to be a game where I play for like 200 hours at least. I had no idea Baldur's Gate 3 existed until, until that one trailer advertised that you could have sex with a bear. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, yoy. Another Brass Knuckles moveset. Let's go. Wait, what? That's an actual feature in Baldur's Gate 3. Oh. Maybe they should put sex in Yakuza one day. That'll become bigger. Yeah, at the very least, I'm gonna do it soon, I just need to get rid of the goons. But at least Tanimura can, like, parry this guy to the wall like that. And actually do something about it. I like that. Other than that, though, yeah, these guys fucking suck. think we're gonna be forever on turn-based for the mainline games now no I feel like things can, can uh, change if they decide they're done with Ichiban maybe it's gonna go back to action you never know Gaiden is also, like, mainline in a way. What if the next genre shift is first-person shooter? Oh, hell yeah, sign me up. Call of Duty Yakuza. Call of Yakuza. I... Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Ugh. Man, I really need to manage my saves. I just wish they tell you more details. Like, what's in the save. <laughs> this is the shortest chapter, I think. We saw Tiny Mora's dad for like a split second. I hate that Yakuza is becoming more reliant on cinematic storytelling while half of the people are there for the combat, and they're focusing more on graphical improvement than the combat. Are they? I feel like Yakuza is the opposite of that. 
Um, like, when you get to the gameplay parts, you go heavy in gameplay. Um, The only known Yakuza protag with the wait, the only Yakuza protag with known biological parents? Maybe. Um Yagami, well if you if you want to count Yagami, I guess. You have not seen cinematic games until you play a, so a Sony exclusive. What I hate is the excessive use of quick time events in judgment games. Wait, really? I always thought they didn't have enough. <laughs> At least the second one didn't. Oh, we're doing the sub story again. My problem with Lost Judgment uh, quick time events is like just the way they decided to make them multi buttons. Like, why? Who thought that was a good idea? And you get no indication um, that you're gonna get mul like multi buttons. That's it, though. Like, other than that, I think Yakuza does quick time events really well. God damn it. that fight against the detective broke me. Yeah, no, if you're talking about the multi uh, button quick time events, I think everybody agrees that they suck. No, I think I saw a few people that like them. But again, if they just at least told you about them, that would have yeah. helped. But they come out of nowhere. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, they also use the D-pad, like the trigger buttons, I think. Thank God for auto saves on Legend, yeah. <laughs> oh my, what the hell happened there? Yeah, that I can agree with, Nico. Yeah, we're gonna do like a dragon. A detective's honor. Do we hope we get parry focused combat on Yakuza someday? Uh, I mean, one of one of the things that I like about Yakuza is that the parries never, almost never, feel. Like, something you need to learn. The only exception I feel like is Yakuza 3, but even then, not really. Thank you, Rella. The 
last thing I want is for Yakuza to start feeling like a Souls-like game. Same. How long will it take you for Yakuza 7? I have no idea. That one is going to be a, a bit of a risk for me. Because I'm going to do 6 and 7 in one day. But I'm going to do both in New Game Plus. Now, I kind of wish we didn't do the screw up from this earlier. Uh, uh, with, uh, you know, the skip I was trying to do. That's going to slow us down by a little bit, but not too much, I think. Mm -hmm. Rose got four days and seven takes forever to finish. Just watch. Yeah, if you skip all the cutscenes, which, you know, thank god, like, they added that function to a dragon engine, six is gonna be really short. What if you don't complete the marathon? Nah, we will, hopefully. Will you use any mods for six and seven? Maybe I'm gonna use the blue jacket for Kiryu in uh, six. That's about it, though. Yeah, because the six is gonna be ten minutes, yeah. <laughs> Mishima. All right, any Mishima enjoyers in chat? Come on, let's see you guys. One of the most underrated side characters. Mishiho, oh my god, chat, come on! Oh, sheesh, look at these people. <laughs> Kazuya Mishima, yeah. Tekken cameo, baby. Here's Mishima, remember him? <laughs> No, seriously, who is that? <laughs> he shows up in like one of the first few cutscenes and never again. Until now. And then he dies. I know it's not, but when playing it too feels like the longest game to me. I know exactly what you mean. Mm -hmm. Boat time! Oh man, I hope the drifting is not gonna screw me over too much. Holy sh! Dude! Okay, I think I got it. Hopefully. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Stop! Dude! What? Oh, I think I'm making a mistake that I made before. I don't need to hold front or straight. Just left and right. I hated this section so much. I think it's even harder in climax battles, but I think the remaster, fun funnily enough, fucks it up somehow, and it becomes easier than it should be. He has like 900 bullets, yeah, all in his pocket. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. 
boat. Bye bye. Remember failing this once or twice on the PS3? Infinite ammo. I'm the one weirdo in chat that enjoyed this section. Yeah, I don't dislike it. Okay, banger alert. I wish they did more quick time events before fights. Yeah, it's a cool idea. Was New Game Plus confirmed for Jaden? Not yet. If it doesn't have New Game Plus, I think uh, we all riot. Yeah, like a dragon, Jaden. Never heard of it. Get heat mode once, right? The fight is almost over. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had points. Wow. Okay. It's time for Suzuki Taichi, Taichi Suzuki, Joryo, Kiryu, the man with a million names. Yeah, the fight itself doesn't have quick time events. Just the start of it. With the intro. This is on Legend, I'm pretty sure. Like, the fights earlier were really difficult. And now, well... It's a single enemy. The man who forgot his moves. Accurate. Kiryu's back, baby. Uh. Is this the only game where Kiryu keeps some of his moves from the from the last game? In the way it does in this game, yes. Like, um, it's not just, I don't know, one or two moves, but multiple. Like, for example, between Yakuza 1 and 2, Kiryu, by default, has the fourth kick for the rush combo. But I don't really count that because, like, it's whatever. Um, and it becomes a standard later on, too, so you automatically have it. Um, but yeah, this game, like, you know... Nah. You open the upgrade menu and several abilities are just unlocked. Yo, Addy. What do people prefer between the four's Kamurocho Hills long fight or five's hundred man fight? I might have to go with the Kamurocho Hills. It has more variety. Even if I hate the fucking shotgun guy. Mm hmm. Yeah, the music for, uh... I love the music for, uh, Solitude as well. Mm 
Then you don't have to worry. I'm good. How are you doing, Ali? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do new game plus for seven, like I've been doing for all of the games. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, who cares? Excited to see what that's about. What is your guys' favorite Kiryu outfit? Um... I'm not sure. Look who's back. What job will you play in 7? Uh, we'll figure it out. Probably gonna go hero for Ichiban. Um, I might do uh, the default job for Sayako. Like, everyone is gonna be default, probably. Ichiban is gonna be the healer. Matriarch. We could use that too. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the blue jacket for Kiryu looks really good. True. Take care, Adi. I think we can skip this actually. Let me try. I wonder how much of Kamurochi Hills we can skip. I'm actually excited for that. We most likely have to finish the fight outside. And then the mannequin room. And then maybe we can run until the shotgun guy, if I had to guess. Oh, he actually... he's shooting! Nice! He's learning. The reason I'm surprised is because uh, in Yakuza 3 Remastered, they can't shoot. Bug. Wait, I don't have the grab counter? Bruh. Okay, that's fine. Here you forgot the getting up kick in this game. God damn it. made a suit outfit. Yeah, I made a drip tier list. It wasn't too long ago, like a month now, maybe? <laughs> to Kamurocho. I think this is also one of the shortest chapters in the game. Hmm. 
When I play Yakuza 8, everyone is gonna have their default job. Yeah, usually you can't go wrong with that. I might change around a little bit, but we'll see. Man, 8 is gonna eat so much time. <laughs> when is 8 coming out? In two months. January 26th. Which Yakuza game have you played the most? Good question, I don't know. Yakuza, like a Dragon 8, infinite content. Accurate. Played 7 for like 3 weeks, oh hell yeah. Did you read the interview where they said about having only one person doing minigame for... Yeah, they assign someone for each uh, something. Hopefully I can finish this by eight hours. I actually expected to take six hours maybe, but uh, we're taking longer. So that's why I'm kind of scared for Yakuza 6 and 7. We should be good. We should be, but you never know. And also, even though it's one game, I am, I'm also scared for 5. God, 5 actually has infinite fillers. I... فطور العوافي حبيبي الله يوفقك uh, we're gonna finish both 6 and 7 in the same day I usually look at the speed run speed runs and how much they take I think Yakuza 6 is like 2 hours or something so casually, we might be able to finish it in three hours, if not less. Uh, seven. This is a fresh new game, by the way. So I think new game plus might take even less. Um, seven is like three hours and a half, I think. Yeah, six is really short if you skip everything, which again... Um, you're given more options to skip in Dragon Engine games. You don't have that in Yakuza 5. That makes Yakuza 5 half of the speedrun. Holy, a little too close, Daigo. Half of the speedrun of Yakuza 5 is actually just skipping stuff. It's pain. Wait, Yakuza 6 is less than two hours? Oh, wow. Hell yeah. Yeah, 5 is gonna be tomorrow. Solo. Solo. Look at how beautiful Kamurocho looks in this weather. Man, the drifting is real, holy shit. The hunting minigame tutorial tomorrow. Look forward to it, guys. Mm -hmm. Leon, is your sleep schedule okay? Depends on what you mean by okay. It's not normal. <laughs> but I don't mind it. I'm so used to having my schedule just flip all over the place. <laughs> Find Yasko. Do we have to? Put a one in the chat if you have a fucked up sleep schedule. Kiryu isn't himself in four, story-wise. Oh, really? How come? Wow, that's a lot of ones. 
Insomnia gang, let's go. Oh, speaking of, apparently I might have a mild case of insomnia, which surprised me. I never thought I did. To I'm a beast! Snowiest in the chat, how you doing? Permanent night shift life. Man, I feel for you. Keep it up, King. People be here watching instead of sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, not complaining. What? Guys, why does it take Kiryu five minutes to get down here to them? Is he stupid? Like, they have a whole monologue. <laughs> like... <laughs> nice, hope you're doing well, Snowyest. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny to imagine what happened to him on the way. Like... Was he, like, ascending one step at a minute, or, like... Oh, sorry, descending, not ascending, I just realized. Anyway... I wonder if I can get the glitch to trigger. I'm gonna try. So if you never saw this before, I need to make sure I... Uh... I think I fucked it up. No, wait, maybe not. Akiyama? I think it might work, maybe? Oh, wait, he's still alive. God damn it. Yeah, I know. So... There's a glitch where if you take out Akiyama fast enough, this quick time event happens without Akiyama. So he's like carrying just Tanimura. I don't know if I have a video. Someone probably has a video though. No, I, th I don't think it works with Tanimura. Because Tanimura is the one to trigger the quick time event. The man who raised his body, yeah. Oh, did you, Shady? Okay, uh, solitude time very soon. Very, very soon. Yeah, we might have done the glitch some stream, but I don't remember which one. Chain of Betrayal, Ah, oh, you know what that alludes to? The best cutscene in the whole game. But I think that cutscene is also copyright material. Three days left, yeah. Look at Akiyama's neck. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> he is not okay. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, he's doing the Nauru's emote. He's cat jamming. Okay. Speaking of neck, there's a more than a few scenes in Seven where Jung Gi Han's neck looks absurd. Really? I didn't notice. <laughs> I love the skip audio. Look at the florist here. He took the beating pretty well. I just need to check, do I have heals for this? Wait... I wanna get something... before we go. Real quick, real quick. My fiance can never remember the nicknames, the names of the cast for Lad. They nicknamed all of them. So what's 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 uh, Zhao's nickname? Okay, here we go. Another masterpiece. Rippy Zoomer. <laughs> How old is 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 uh, Zhao actually? Do we ever know? Watch him be like forty. I think this can deal even more damage if you're maxed. Look at the gun guy in the distance. Just watching. He's probably a little younger than Psycho. Tommy, uh, live reaction face cam. One day.
Dragon King Essence looks so much better here than 5. They have so much red in 5, like on all of the Climax Heat actions. Get it? Special Heat action. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. I was surprised that Namba and Ichi are the same age. Uh, oh yeah, thank you, thank you, Snow. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Best quick time event. <laughs> uh oh. There's a lot of grabbers in this room, and I hate it. I hate it. Three of them, yeah, three of them. Nice. Yo, Leo. Um, I think Gaiden uses un um, Dragon Engine. Thank god I have this. Oh my god. <laughs> Finish the grab, here's another one. Okay, listen. This guy's hyper armor is fucking insane, god damn. Tanking a tiger drop. Why does this guy- Okay, chat. Why does he have- Look! Why? Like, is he supposed to be the chairman of something? Like, why? <laughs> My guy is just... Purple guy, but uh, reskinned. He's so based. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Chairman of surviving target drops. Surprised we haven't gotten a show, an animated movie or show. You know, there is a show, but not for any of the mainline stuff. There's a couple of movies, I think you know though. But yeah, I'm surprised there's no anime. They made a show for one of the spin offs, the Black Panther games. I think they have two seasons even, which is insane. Yeah, there's two movies. One is a prequel movie. Uh, you get to see Kiryu and Ishiki and uh, uh, Yumi in the orphanage. And the events lead up to the moment where... Uh, I think... When Ishiki is looking after Yumi, when she, like when she gets Amnesia. And then she runs off. It stops there. And then the second one is the one that people know. Uh, the, the the one with like Majima with the wrong um, eye patch placement. Was the prequel ever subbed? I think you might find it on YouTube. Subbed. The quality is horrible, but it's there. Yo, Slash. <laughs> Is it good to watch? I mean, if you really want Yakuza content, go for it, but I don't think it's a must. The, uh, 
the Kuryo show, by the way, changes quite a bit. Someone like, uh, what's his name? The final boss of Kuryo 2. You, like, Tatsuya does not fight him. What is a lurk? Just a fun command. It doesn't do anything. Here we go. Yeah, you get to see Nishiki's little sister in the prequel movie. <laughs> you know, thinking about it, it's bonkers. They never thought of putting her in uh, Kiwami. Or one to begin with, but Kiwami especially. That would have been the perfect chance. But then again, that would have required making a whole model, and they probably didn't want to do it for like one or two scenes. Yeah, I hate this guy so much. This fight is okay. The next one near the elevator, fucking hell, dude. Just. Free money, guaranteed working. They've done models you never see again. True. And they also definitely did models you see like a scene or two. But yeah, I do find it kind of strange. She is, you know, an important part of Nishi's life. And you don't see her. Uh, we don't need to beat that guy. I might take the shotgun though. Here we go. This room is... The worst thing in the whole game, probably. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't even- I'm spamming dodge. I couldn't dodge. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, I love this. Yakuza 4 gameplay. I- I legit- I can't. Like, I can't do anything. Finally, there we go. Okay, let me throw the shotgun for now. I need to kill this guy first. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my god, the shotgun guy is so fucking bad. Uh. And he doesn't take grabs, because of course, why would he? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna spam heat actions on this bitch. I don't care. Oh, of course not. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I can't grab him. You know, I'm both surprised and not surprised that, that this guy is not more talked about. Cause like, it's a small portion of the game, but holy shit, he's bad. And by the way, the reason I'm not focusing on the goons for now is if I beat them, we'll get like two waves after that, so I'm focusing on the guy. Yeah, not even Tiger Drop can fix this. God, we have a grabber enemy too, that doesn't help. But he's almost out now. There we go, second wave. Yeah, I think Man in Black is more memorable because you fight him like three times or four times. This guy is like, well, he's in one place. You fight Man in Black in like three different places. But yeah, finally, good riddance. For now. Yeah, Sean. It's just bad. 
Can he just use the elevator? No. That would be too easy. Okay. I think we should be able to skip some stuff here. My friends got sick of me talking about Gaiden coming this week. Just don't talk about it. Easy. I don't think... Hmm. Where was the fucking place? I think it was somewhere here. Dude, where is this place? Holy shit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sick. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, I love the atmosphere in this place. Very good trucks. Gaiden mod, we're curious, fading away as the game progresses. Oh, hell yeah. Day one stream for that one. I didn't want to dodge towards the guy, but... <laughs> okay. Okay, so... This room can be a little rough, too. Mainly because of the Brass Knuckles guy. There he is. They actually spam attacks. <laughs> then again, this is legend. That's the yeah, the brass knuckles guy, he should be almost down. Wait, hold on, let me just check something. Okay. I was like, do I have the autobiography on me by any chance? But I don't. Okay, I think we can just run past here. There's a couple of heals though, I'm gonna go get them. Just in case. Oh. Duh. Hmm. Imagine autobiography on Legend. Is that in this game actually? I'm not sure. 
I can't remember. I know it's in five, I think. I wonder whose picture it is on the autobiography. Good question. Maybe it's Makoto Tojo. Can I skip all RGG games for Super Monkey Ball? No, you have to play all of them. How many Makotos and Yakuza? Well, there's Date, there's the one in Zero... Uh, what's his name from Yakuza 3? Uh, I'm not sure. Did he do an autobiography run? No. <laughs> That's just annoying. Let's do a little something in this room, if I can. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. This looks so cool in this room. Their worst nightmare. Where's the gun guy? Kinda sad they removed this in later games. I think it looks cool. Five has it, right? But I think it's like a climax um, heat move. <laughs> Where's the gun? There we go. Okay, uh, one more fight, I think. Yeah, it should be at the... we should be at the rooftop now. I think I'm gonna take out the boss guy first. You'll see why. If I can, if the shotgun guy is not as annoying, but we'll see. Okay, this guy has the Richardson moveset, so that means he is very easy bait to the target drop. This idea is cool. I like it. Oh boy. Or maybe, you know what? Yeah, let's let's get him first. Almost. Okay, sick. Now we can get the boss guy. I love how that guy just blocks him again and again.
He doesn't want to do it. He's learning. Alright, get over here. Camarocha Hills. Shattered memories. Don't say that again. Or it's a ban. <laughs> oh, that game. Hill. <laughs> Behave or get banned, banned. Shattered memories or ascension? Both. 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 I kind of wish we can keep the cutscene up ahead, but we gotta skip. Let's just finish this game. We got a long day tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm not excited. Oh, did I save? Fuck. Man, I really need to check the saves. God, I'm sick and tired of saving again and again. Isn't it like 7 a.m. For, for you? It is about to hit 7 a.m. now, yes. <laughs> With the gun... You may game tomorrow, yep. Wait, hold on, let me check one thing real quick. Okay. It is time for Four Faith, yes. On the Microsoft Store, it says Gaiden will release on the 7th instead of 9th. Yeah, I heard about that. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe the preloading is gonna be on the 7th? I'm not sure. Good morning. Yes. Okay. I should be all set. Should. If I die, GG's, we finished the game. <laughs> you guys understand, right? Okay. Um, gonna keep this. I'll be right back. Alright?
boys. The boys are here. Let's go. Okay, riddle me this, chat. Why do they walk into the Millennium Tower and then arrive in a helicopter? Scientists, until this day, do not know the answer. In fact, nobody knows. What's done is done. No turning the clock back. Oh wait, no sense in regretting it. Oh, Akiyama's maxed, huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yakuza 5 Akiyama wishes he can do that. <laughs> uh, and ladies and gents, this is why Akiyama should be a Tekken character. Boom. God, this quick time event is pretty cool. Then again, almost all of these are cool. At the end. Mm, he's using his hand- Oh, blasphemy. What is this shit? Okay, never mind. This sucks. The shock on a rice face. <laughs> It's time for you know what. あ、<笑> I wonder if Saijim is maxed on this. Does Saijim tell Baba to go balls out? No. That means he cared about Kido, but not Baba.
What is your background? I've been trying to guess your accent, but can't come up with anything. Um, I'm from Bahrain. Oh, no Herculean spirit, I just realized. But that's fine, that's fine. Uh-oh. Wait, can I...? Oh. Oh, huh. I do have it. Huh. Huh. The more you know. <laughs> Whoa! This quick time event is bugged, by the way. Some of you guys know. But the first um, button input makes the thing go a little too fast. Nice. Hold on, let me increase the volume of the game. Wonder how low it is. Oh, pretty low, damn. Let's take it to 22. The Tojo clan is a heavy cross to bear. I know I forced this lifestyle on you, Daigo, but... Uh... <laughs> Shh, don't tell on him, Josuke. Shh. Don't tell him, don't tell him. Nice whiff. animation here, or not as intended. One. This is an anime one.
Okay, before we end the fight, you guys said you wanted... Let, let, let's do it, it's been a hot minute. I'm gonna pull up the vo uh, vocal version of For Faith and play that when Tenimura's uh, fight kicks in. Um, it actually makes the fight so much better, it's insane. Okay. Yeah, actual Bolly Witch transitions right there. Yo, is this considered music? No audio. I think this happened last time too, actually. Let's play the song. I I'm not sure, Gatekeeper. Oh, perfect. Not bad. Not bad. I wasn't sure how it was gonna align, but that was that was cool. I'll take it. This is the only thing you want to do in this fight, just grab. Spam grab. with the beats.
Uh oh. By the way, this is on Legends. Uh, we had to do another playthrough. In case anyone's wondering. Yeah, there's an extended version on YouTube. Oh, you're under arrest. It's jailing time. I might go from when I got the first. Or maybe not. What's worse, this or Jingo? I would say Jingo. Uh, this is not that bad if you just do the grabs. And also, don't forget, um, Jinko has homing grenades. Monakata does not have that. Nice. Yeah, you have more of a reaction to gunshots in Kiwami as well, true. Wakana! <laughs> All right, the true final boss.
I love this song and I can't understand 80% of what's being said. Don't worry, you're not the only one. <laughs> Gee, jeez, we did it. We did it, guys. <sighs> we have finally fulfilled the selfish deed. <laughs> 30 copies of... Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I love the silence at the beginning of this cutscene, just no words. Oh. <laughs> All right, chat. This has been a fun one. Eight hours. You know, I expected, like I said, for this to be six below seven hours, but no, we went like two hours above what I expected. Um, have fun mentally preparing for tomorrow. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'll work on that. Um, but yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Gonna get ready for tomorrow. Yakuza 5, peak. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking forward to that too. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I really hope... So, when I did the practice for Yakuza 3 and 4, I actually tried my best... No, wait, Yakuza, sorry. Kiwami 1, Kiwami 2, and 3. When I played those, I tried to actually, like, get through it as fast as I can, skipping everything, using the War God Talisman if I had it, and just, you know, um, repeating the same moves if I had to, no problem. I'll try to do that with the Yakuza 5, because, yeah, I can't really afford to uh, take my time with that game. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, but, for the time being, chat, um, thank you for joining. This has been a lot of fun. Um, I'll be seeing you very soon tomorrow. With the Akaza 5. So until then, you guys have a great night or day. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye now. Take care, guys.